along. Mm, all right. Should Carry it along. Party chat. Bring that up. I was thinking about writing a Discord bot that would just be like a sound mixer to feed directly into Discord instead of doing all this virtual cable shit. And I realized I would have to figure out how to multiplex audio. <laughs> I have to actually mix it. it. Yeah, there's not many smart ones, though. No, I mean, you could just control it with like a, a front end, but like... I'm. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. I guess I would have to like take all the sources, mix it down to a single stream, and then send it to Discord somehow. And essentially, just creating an audio mixer. <laughs> but a smart one. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about it. You know, we'll see how much time I have this summer. <laughs> wow. When do you finish your dissertation? I thought you were uh, April twenty fourth. Yeah, we are awesome. rapidly, we are rapidly incoming to that, and uh, yeah, yeah. If I will be, if I will be kicked out of the nest finally. <laughs> no, please, I'm not ready. I want to stay here and continue to do image research and spend my Captain cut in and out. What? No, it's not allowed. I'm not cutting. He just, um, stopped to he just stopped to think. He just stopped to think. <laughs> like, it's hard to tell sometimes. It really sounds like you're cutting in and out. The way the way you pause then. It's unfortunate. I just have to think. Yeah. Foul. Think what? The, uh, real life sucks, just so you know. So uh, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> really Say does. that like a surprise. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, I, I, just, I just really want to make sure he's aware. Oh, I am. <laughs> I mean, you gotta talk to people like Bobo and stuff, like, you know. <laughs> yes! Wait, why'd you stop it? I didn't. It did to us. <laughs> yeah, it's not that, it's not loud enough to meet the Discord threshold. Oh, I forgot, I always have to turn that off. Wait, are we good? Yep. Yeah, I think so. I love this song. <laughs> Did you listen to all three songs, Mine House? Negative Ghost Rider. I keep I actually what I meant to do is watch him with my wife the other day and then we I forgot to. What is all that noise We're in my on. house? Is someone oh, Bobo. He's brewing coffee. By the way. Bobo had all this time to prep for a 5 p.m. start, and he's like, 5.01, I, I gotta go get coffee. What the hell? It's it's the rule of D&D. <laughs> I was here. I stopped talking about politics fairly close to 5 o'clock. Ah, I do 100 just rolled 69. Nice. <laughs> Get it. What are the chances that it'll do it again? One in a hundred? Be rolling these for a bit. There he is. Is he? I don't know. Are you? Uh, you know. <laughs> what am I being forced to listen to? How dare music. you? How dare you? It's just like coming through really unevenly. I can't pick it up. So. Is it official that I did nothing fun at all on my night out? You could not 
randomly find this woman. No, having wow. no idea where you might find wow. her. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like, she's literally at the museum when we had last left. Like, come on. Wow. <laughs> you, 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 no, no, you did not find her. Because <laughs> like, no, no, no. I, I, I just, okay, whatever. I disagree with this because I feel like I could have had at least a conversation of saying, you know, make me, have, let me actually put in little legit guesses of where to go or whatever as opposed to just being told like, Later on. No, by the way, nothing happened. <laughs> when you designed your campaign. I don't, I don't, I, 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 okay, okay, I'm just being a little honest here with the, it. I'm going to be a little honest with you right now. I don't know what hmm. I need to specifically say and don't say at times because it's very unclear to me. Because okay. I feel like I should have, I, I feel like what the, like what I kind of said, I know it wasn't very much, but it was kind of like a lead into kind of, the whole point of me saying what I said to Crow was to kind of, get from him a little bit of what I should be if I need to do something more specific than that to him to tell me that okay. and I think that's happened a lot too during, like, that's why I'm quiet a lot during some of these sessions and like during some of the interactions because I don't know what we need to specifically say and do so at points I think and, what Crow like had told me was that they're like and, and this is good feedback for your DM too because it's about okay, so hold like, on they're, they're, before, before, I, I, hold on, 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 on. on. Yeah, yeah. so No matter where you looked, you would not be able to find Emma. Do you want to stay out all night looking for her? Well, now I don't care. Like, I mean, I wanted to, I was going to do this, like, during in between or whatever. And you've already told me the answer, so I don't know. I, I, I'm saying that if you look for her, you would check all the places you think she might be, and she is not there. And the museum is, like, locked up, lights off. I, I, I think I just ra I raised my complaint. Like that's I, that's all I'm saying is I don't know. Like I I, I don't want I don't I don't want to just I don't know I wanted to have a bit more of a chance to actually, you know, do some back and forth and or figure something out or whatever. I don't know what or if that's not the way it goes, that's not the way it goes. I don't know, but from my from what at least I've been seeing or whatever, it's a, it's been more <laughs> free willing I guess for other individuals when they do nightly stuff and then like. Maybe this one was a bad one. I don't know. But again, it just feels like unclear to me. That's all I'm saying. I mean, oh, okay, that's, that's fair. That's fine. I'm, I'm telling you right now, story reasons, you cannot find Emma. That's fair. That, that's why nothing happens. Like, I guess, as the DM, you can't always be like, and yes, I could have responded to you, but I probably would have said something like, you can't find her, and just left it at that. Because you don't want to, like, give everything away whenever you... Right, but, so, for example... Yeah, so, I get. So I guess, from my perspective, because I know one of the things I like is I like to try to build a narrative. So, like, when I say something like that in my mind, I'm like, that's, a, that's like a starting point. And if your response is, you, you know... Maybe your response is, "Where do you want to look for Emma?" Or you can or there's no way you're gonna find her, and you've looked the through the city, you can't find her. Then I would have the option to say something like, "If I did want to keep looking, or if I thought of something else I wanted to check because of I was out and about, or something caught my eye was out and about, or I just want to go back home." Like that's how, in my mind, that's how that narrative would be developed, as opposed to just, you know, nothing, nothing. And then, oh, by the way, no matter how hard you look, you're not going to find her. Do you want to go home? <laughs> like, it just feels that's... So, so generally so, speaking... And again, if I'm wrong in, on in that, that's of... fine. I just need to understand yeah, what the boundaries are. So, when I was talking to Fowl, and this is something good to bring up and talk about with the group, is I don't like to go back and let people add on or revise or redo or continue out of session stuff. Because you have... You know, some people might have this huge big laundry list of things they want to do and it leads to more things and it leads to more things or like maybe they want to go back and like, oh wait, if I can't, if I don't find anything interesting in the library when I'm researching, can I like do something else instead? And it's like, I don't want to just get bogged down in these never ending narratives. Okay. When you can, when you can do them during the session. Okay. I guess that's why I'm confused then. Because our last time we had like, a whole list of th things that we were doing, but I guess those are more bullet point stuff, right? Not really narrative stuff. 
Yeah, and you can like, like so you can give me like a big list. It's just that what I tell you back is like that's it. Book closed. Okay. Like I didn't get anything from the tavern. No, I know you. I know. I again, I'm just that's I'm I'm more trying to understand what the again the boundaries are between what you are you know what is expected or what you are able to say and do in between or for th certain things. If if this was the only campaign that I was running. I could do more out of session. I I like I think I think my biggest complaint is I literally didn't get any kind of response till right now. Like if I had just known like immediately, hey, you're not gonna find her, and that's it. That's probably fine. Yeah, that, that's and that's that's my bad. I apologize yeah. for not so. responding because I because I saw it like right away and I just like didn't respond. So okay. Mostly because I didn't know exactly what we were doing tonight until <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> but no Amazon. I don't want Slim Jones. Why not? Don't you want to get fat? Knock up, dude. The apocalypse is coming or something. Ooh. Ooh. Are we good? Yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. Alright. Does anybody want to recap for inspiration? Or should I just take it? Well, I liked Faust. <laughs> I did it last week, though. Nice. What else could do it this week? Uh, I was saying I liked your one earlier. Oh, oh, I got <laughs> oh the one where just... my snakes and dragons. <laughs> didn't learn anything. I mean, that's what happened. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have great notes about like I just had the trip to the museum and then the. the so we got wiped by J and J into she giving them... them. Oh boy. Man, I'm just amused that you guys keep saying bribe. Like, oh, this is a bribe. Or, you know, payment? Like, just... No, we they were bribed. Didn't, uh, they didn't tell us they were going to give us... Yep. Payment is just a socially acceptable bribe. Hmm. It's 100% a bribe. <laughs> it's, oh, payment is a bribe rendered for goods and services. We are, we are, we are collectively me, I... with Carter on this. That was a bribe. I think that's called a quid pro quo. And now, oh. that I've, now that I've heard a quo, I can give a recap because I'm not hearing myself. No, the echo! Oh, yeah, there's a wet, there's a pretty bad echo. Yeah, the echo, the echo is both off. Um, so we, you know, traded J&J &J &J money, money and... Right, I, it's... Magic, magic items, items for the orb, orb. And then we and went, went to visit the museum, museum where the orb was getting delivered. And yeah, yeah. at the at museum, museum we met... I don't have names written down. We met the, the museum... museum Hackensmith! I, Hackensmith. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, his team, which was surprisingly made up of a mix of elves and humans, there were six of them. And then after getting like a tour of the like incoming area where they like got their new stuff and like where they were working on like figuring out what things do, they were also struggling to figure out what this orb does because like detect magic wasn't detecting anything, but like it's obviously magical because the time stop thingy thingy. Which I don't think we told anyone about. I don't think it happened to them. We either. didn't. We didn't tell any. No, didn't we told no one. Yeah, yeah Bubble didn't tell them by that, accident. Also, wait, did I ask? I wanted to clear that up. Was that a narrative thing of like you wanted to give us fucking time to discuss what our dumbasses were doing? Because you used it when we took a time out. <laughs> you used the same sound. I just wanted to make sure if you're no, using okay, so, the sound for so flavor I, or if it was the same effect. Uh, both. Okay. The the orb actually stops time. Okay. And it's very convenient for our purposes. What did I not no, say? I can't remember what I did. not It was so echoey. The letter? You had yeah, a letter. Have... Yeah. Which is great. I don't think we've still... We still haven't Why been told about that at all. Bumble's so strong. Well, Bumble's no longer echoey, so... Okay. Uh, um... Sometimes I... with and information, we... I, abs I, I reserve the right to possibly use it for arterial narratives with this character. That's fair. Sneaky, sneaky. And then we toured the museum and became J and J's permanent adventuring party. Maybe they're gonna write up a contract and we're gonna evaluate whether or not we want it. They're regulars. The regulars. We're regulars. <laughs> I'm gonna feel very regular soon. <laughs> and then we went home and we went to sleep and we were going well, to another. We didn't go well, home. We went to I separate said we rooms. Toured the museum. Well, but we toured the museum and. 
Uh, Bobo looked through a spy gra- glass and saw something. I can't remember what it was. A field or whatever. A young no, was a woman a lady wearing alone in a yeah. room. Okay. A there you go. That's what. And then, you know, the t- dragon boy learned up eight million things about dragons. But what did you? No, what, I actually I actually didn't learn anything about well, dragons. Well, yeah, roll better, <laughs> roll better, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, lo- I learned, I learned about, about the angels of the moon and the sun maybe dating and Aiden Book being the guy that wrote the book. Right. And what did Thomas learn? Thomas learned about wood. (laughs) I I learned about wood. I I, I grabbed a piece of wood on my way out. And I I learned about angels. And I learned learned two shanties. Very important. And then apparently can't find Emma because I'm a fucking idiot. (laughs) Magic would be unable to find Emma. Uh, well, she Thomas just disappear? also no- noted Jesus. that um, there's no angel of wildlife. Oh yeah, that one. Important. Thomas important. internally notes that the pantheon seems a little unbalanced. Yeah, I'm, uh, we'll talk about that. That's okay. Well, you know what? Maybe when you die, you can become <laughs> that angel of wildlife. Dude, I want to be reincarnated. Thank you. <laughs> Emoji. <laughs> All right, lads. Where are we oh, headed to? All right, so day breaks on another wonderful day in the neighborhood. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, it was seventy-three degrees when we went to visit. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> I wrote it down. <laughs> was it like Chris? What was the name of the? Th- give me a second. You guys are staying in the. Give, uh, me, a give second? me a second. Yeah. Give, yeah. Me a give me a minute. 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 Tavern. Yeah. It's <laughs> a good one. Um. You all wake up from your beautiful, comfortable beds in the Gimme a Minute Tavern and <laughs> eat a filling breakfast. I have assortment of fruits, grains, fresh baked bread, uh, something that I guess would resemble a pancake, but they wouldn't call it a pancake. I'm not sure what they'd call it. Do they have Why scones? They have Do they have scones? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Get a scone from the place. Um... And eventually make your way out to the meeting place with J and J. If no one has anything they want to interject and do. I don't think so. Okay. Um outside of the city gates, Jonathan and Jacobs are easily found readying a team of horses and a cart. You know, they're loading boxes into the back, securing them down with rope. Um uh, maybe it looks like that Jacobs is struggling a little bit with the knots. Well, Johnson talks to a guard some distance away. Neither of them has noticed you appear. Um, what's he talking to the guard about? Do I try and eavesdrop? Yeah. Get perception. They're just talking about paying tariffs no, that's in the city. <laughs> And more they like to stable their horses and such. Just pretty routine business stuff. Is it though? <laughs> oh my so, god. We're so suspicious of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they're so suspicious. I mean they act suspicious over and over again. We're I feel like I feel like we're the suspicious ones. <laughs> You're not Crow. I mean Crow is easily the most suspicious out of all of us. Uh, okay. Well maybe that's why we think they're suspicious. <laughs> um I'm just, I'm I'm just bad, kinda... I have a bad habit, but I'm thinking about what I want to say next. I end my sentences with a question. It makes all my NPCs sound suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm just gonna still kinda, not kinda, noticed like... you. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang around and wait. I don't really care. So does it look like we're going to be riding horses? Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, eventually, Jacobs finishes tying the knots on the cart and turns around and goes, "Ah, when did you all arrive?" This is not gonna go. Good, day, good morning, good morning. Did you all sleep well? Sleep fine? I will be sad to be leaving that in. It was wonderful. Well, you still have another, well, week and a half? Yeah, when we get back from this trip. Yeah. Um, Jacobs rummages around in one of the crates in the back and pulls out the orb. I thought you guys gave that to... 
museum. Uh, Hack and Smith tracked us down this morning before we got the horses and uh, gave it to Jacobs and I. He thought maybe we might need it or something. So did they find anything out about the orb? Not that he told us. I think even if he had, he probably wouldn't have told us. Seems Hacken Smith has some sort of investment in this orb, no? Well, I do follow his reasoning, because from the scout's report, they have reason to believe that this uh, unearthing is related to the one that you guys went on a few days ago. So, it's not common to bring artifacts from one dig site to another, but it's not exactly unheard of either, especially when you have reason to believe that they have something in common. You know, maybe something special will happen with the orb, or it'll unlock a door. We don't know. We're expecting more cultists here, right? Ah, yeah. You're expecting more cultists. But you guys shouldn't have any trouble. You didn't have any trouble last time. Eh? Eh? Any trouble is a bit over... Over... What's the word? <laughs> I'm <gonna stay> <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, uh, Farron will go and, I guess, put the orb back in her pocket again. <laughs> okay. Like it was before. And we'll add it back to my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious orb. You hang on to that, MacGuffin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I will. I'll hang on to it like my life depends on it. Maybe. It very well might. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Johnson heads back over. He goes, oh, good morning. Is everyone ready to go? And swings easily up into the saddle of a horse, belaying his rather large thighs. Hmm. He has a little bit of a natural, natural grace about him that you've never noticed before. What, the horse's thighs, or? <laughs> what? No, Johnson. <laughs> There's, there's not room to ride in the coat, I take it. Wow, you really don't want to be on a horse, do you? No, you no, no. horses. <laughs> I can just feel that it's going to be a bad wall. <laughs> I mean, say Wait, we have to riding a horse. Don't we have to roll? roll? I'm sorry, I missed that. We have to what? No. We have to do shit. Yeah. We're casually riding a horse. Wait, why are we rolling on riding a horse, though? Are we that incompetent? We are. We're not. We're not. Yeah. <laughs> but we could We're be good. that incompetent. And Kodo just doesn't like horses. This is my character. I ride horses. He rides horses. I glare at you and I console one of the horses. <laughs> there, there, buddy. She doesn't mean it. And then I hop on. I'm, I'm already on okay. my horse. I'm wondering why we are just uh, dilly dallying okay. around. Instead of being tall pole in the tent, I will also get on a horse. Let's go. All right. I will follow. And look like kind of green around the, the edges. edges. I will also get on a horse, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm happy to ride a mount. Oh, I muted Quo. I need to unmute him. <clears throat> Do you, though? <laughs> if I want to hear the music. We have no music. Where's the bong? I mean, horse horse steps. Horse. Uh... I'm trying to find him. <laughs> <laughs> I lost him. <laughs> Wait, no. Here they are. Here they are. Yeah. That's the stuff. It's a good long Now, this hit. is going to be a relatively long ride. Uh, longer than the last one. It will take you guys about 10 hours okay. to get to the dig site. Stop around noon for a modest lunch. Add a little bit. What kind of Help lunch? Help the horses rest. What kind of lunch? I don't know what you bet. <laughs> a modest one? Okay. <laughs> um. Some extra scones, maybe like dry sausages. Bread. <laughs> trail mix. <laughs> I took a bunch of fruit. Eventually, uh, about nine and a half hours into the journey, 
Winter, you notice that the ears of the horse you are riding kind of perk forward alertly, and it begins to slow down a little bit. Okay. Um, can I try and see what it is looking at, or...? Yeah, you can give me an animal handling. Animal handling. Is it one order two words for the bot? That's a really good question. You might just be able to use, like, Anna. There we go. That works. Yeah. Um, the horse... Or you assume that the horse uh, has heard something over yonder hill. Something awry, Tommy? Um, uh, yeah, say so me There's something going on. I don't know what, but horse here is uh heard something for J sure. Jacobs and Johnson pull pull their horse in the cart to a halt and dismount. Did you say something was wrong? Uh Thomas? I'm not sure, but it sounds like something is going on up ahead. I would like to dismount and make a stealth check. And see if I can sneak you. I would like to come uh, too, also stealthily. I, I will Tommy's intuition. I sound like freaking Scooby Doo gang. I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> um, gonna, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like, dismount, but hang out by the horses. I, I, I will uh, also dismount, but hang out by the horses. I'm a freaking this rogue. Word. Our chain mail <laughs> says we're not sneaking around anytime soon. You can go for stealth. All right. I'm in medium <laughs> almost. I could still stealth. You know what? I'm... Rude. <laughs> uh, checking stealth real quick. Can I suggest <laughs> that we, uh? hang on for approximately 11 minutes so I can cast speak with animals as a ritual and then talk to the horse. Wow. <laughs> Thomas asks the party. Well, wow. I mean, we can go. We can go look. Incidents won't make or break us. We can go look, right? I mean, I'm I mean, still, I already said I was looking. Yeah. So I'm I already chilling I'm by the horses. I'm not, so I'm I, not there. I mean, we're already, we we're, already we're already we're already we're already stealth. So, yep. hey, so Carter, what'd you pack in your lunch that we ate about whatever the hell it was ago while we wait for these fools to do whatever the hell they're doing? Scones? <laughs> scones all the way down. So when you rip the spear out of your body, uh, how fast did that heal? Because it seems like you're moving around pretty fine. <laughs> you know, so, it wasn't, it wasn't actually, actually that deep of a wound. Would you say it was tis a flesh wound? Exactly, that exactly. Yeah. You've got it. What about you? Can you got knocked down. Can you hard. see anything on this page? <laughs> no, we're, no, we can't because, yeah, I think uh, we're not supposed to. I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, uh, I'm fine, yeah. obviously. I don't know how. I'm going to guess that uh, my, my angel is looking out for me because I'm so great or something. Oh, oh wait. Oh, oh, things are oh, happening. Culty, culty boys. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like the main... You might need to scroll a little bit, hun. Oh. To find the culty boys. Culty boys with like spiky masks. All right. Those of you in the scouting party, as you creep over the hills, your boots not even making a sound in the crunchy snow somehow, you see a gang of cultists <clears throat> talking amongst, each amongst themselves Can down I in the valley. And I hear what they're saying. No, you're too far away, and the words are lost to the wind. Oh, we just see the three of them. Uh huh. Okay. And look at Giller, and it's like, well, what do you think? I think it's a good time to sit and maybe see what is going to happen. I don't know. Where are we on the map? Uh, north in the Bernian Mountains. Oh, he said, where are we on this map, I think. Oh, on this map? Down here somewhere. Down? Yeah. Okay. Just wait for real. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Patience. Patience. Patience a, little, a little hill. <laughs> did you call Fairy and Fanriel? I did. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. So I all mean, of us elves look the same, huh? Mm. You're not here. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Six figures. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll just kind of do a little lookout here. Yeah, okay with that. Um, 
after about 10 minutes, the cultists go their separate ways, and you see them walk off until they're kind of evenly spaced along the area. Okay. Can they see each other? Yeah. Are, yeah. They, are they very far? Okay. And then they all, you can see them kind of shiver a little bit, and they all produce small flames in their hands. Mm. Keep themselves warm. So that spear you got, Carter. Wait, she has a spear. This one? Right? Yeah. Yeah. How's it feel? Does it feel good? Um, like, it, it's definitely lighter than mine, and, like, doesn't have, like, the, the, the throwing weight of a javelin, but, like, I'm excited to try out this hook thing. If you kind of fake jabs at your legs. There's a hook on there? Yeah. There is, in fact, a hook on the hook short spear. That's awesome. Listen, I'm I'm just having a conversation, Thomas. I don't need your sarcasm. <laughs> what do the horses have to say? Good question. Uh, the horse. Wait, you 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 finish casting a speak with animals. When you want to ask ask the horse. Uh, oh wait, real quick. Ask... Um, oh. sorry. Um, are they sixty? F are they um? Are they one hundred twenty feet away from me? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna like kind of like you know point in the general direction of the party and like just whisper a message saying that there's like three cultists standing watch, and we're just kind of chilling and watching them, so you guys know about what's up ahead. Do you need to see who you're messaging? No, it just says you point your finger towards a creature within range. Okay. So I don't, I don't know who you're it's gonna hit. Gesturing vaguely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So whoever decides to in intercept that, uh, Van, yeah. Van, Van Riel hears that. All right. Yo. What do you want to ask the horse, though? Uh, I want to ask the horse what, what they heard, what spooked them. Uh, the horse tells you that it would like an apple. <laughs> also, I that... give it an apple, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and also between between mouth full of food, that there are uh. Bad, bad people up ahead, I and it know. heard like at least uh, eight of them. Oh, these are yeah. these are really useful horses. Thank the horse. Yeah. Uh, give it another to, apple. If it wasn't clear, I, I relay to Carter what Farian tells me, told me. Ah, oh, if those three, there might be more. Yeah, I'm gonna turn back to them and say, uh, the horse thinks there's at least eight. Do we have any way to like communicate back with them to make sure they don't do anything <laughs> stupid? Um. Nope. I mean, you could have given me. Vanriel could give me a response when he receives the message. Oh, but I can't. Not after. Not after. Not after that. But like, basically, when you receive it, you can send the message back. Oh, I did not know that. This, this, yeah, I forgot about that. You can you can reply to this message. Like, is it a specific length? Uh, I don't. For message, it doesn't say that it is. It, just, it has to be like within a sentence or two. I'd say like but, acknowledged yeah. usually. Anyway, just like okay, understood. All right. Um. So I guess there's only one way to go tell them this. Like, <sighs> do I want to like? Do I want to stealth up to them? Like. like do we want to request that they come back? Like, if there was at least eight cultists, like, it's going to be... We Did somebody tell J&J &J that there was at least eight cultists? He heard I assume they could hear Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, if you want to stealth, try to get them to come back over here, I think that's a good idea. The last time I tried to do anything stealthy, I tripped over myself and basically made the most noise in the world. So I'm just going to hang out by these horses. I'll give it a try. <laughs> do, do I have advantage from wee capping? You have inspiration. You can choose to use it here. <laughs> Do I roll first and then use it if I? No, you just you just add ADV onto the end. Wow. 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 <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. Shit, shit, shit. Wow. Wow. Okay, the cultists don't notice you. Okay. Wow. So I like. <laughs> yes. I, I like. Get to one of them. Go like. Three fingers, fingers, shake my head violently. Eight, eight fingers. fingers. Yes. yes. <laughs> On cult and like gesture towards the cultists vaguely. Gilder gives you a thumbs up. And then like try and like come back 
motion okay. to try and lead them back to camp. Yeah. Okay. You, I, you I can. will follow. Yeah, I'll follow. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Okay. You guys are all back together. The I, horses. Wh why? What are we doing? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't understand. What? We're feeding the we horses need, back here. We, we, need to, we need to have a plan, dude. Like, there's eight, eight, possibly more cultists. Okay. Um. Like, that means we're outnumbered significantly. How do we want to try and tackle this? Why don't we go up and ask, ask them some questions? I have an idea. And Gilder reaches into his bag and pulls out a robe as well as a cultist medallion and quickly slips them on. Where did you get those? Well, there's always spoils of war after a battle. Maybe some... Oh! <laughs> no, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, is that me now? Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. I was going to let you control this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> can I yeah, shuffle my like, what? cloak and make it look like one of their robes? Uh, you can, yeah. Absolutely, I'm doing that. I was like, good plan. And then I shake it, do a little shimmy, and my robe turns into one of theirs. <laughs> yes. Ready. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch this from the top of the hill. Yep. I'm chilling with these horses for a while. Yep. Alright. Um you can probably get to the lookout. Vanriel, now they've been back and forth enough. The snow's been a little bit pad down. You're unlikely to make any noise. Oh, okay. You sure if though? You want to go? Because I'm pretty bad about yeah, I'm stealthy. Sure. You should all yeah, I'm pretty, I'm stay pretty close. Sure. Yeah, or stay close. Listen, we're just kind of I'm watching. Just, I'm just being cautious. Just, just, and then just like hey, Gilder, give us a signal if if you need us to come. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, is, what the is the signal this time? time? Tally ho. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry, this guy's throwing me off. Um. I don't care. It's a ghost symbol. Yeah. Uh, uh, What's throwing you off? I, 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 okay. Sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I was over here, right? And I'm like, I have advantage and I'm unseen. I could just one shot somebody. You're not being rude. You're asking, you're trying to do a strategy. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm like here and. Well, I but I thought you were. You came back to us at the horses. We were back okay. here. With the okay. Um, but I also thought you were trying to sneak up on them. Like, as one of them. Right. right. Well, first I was trying to shoot them, and then for some reason we had to come back, and now I'm like this guy. Uh, I mean, you didn't we're... have to come back. You chose to come back because Koto oh. asked you to. Yep. Oh, factually correct. Okay. Well, we're we're just gonna go get some information, I guess. Go for it. What's the signal like... though? If you need assistance or want us to do anything? Stabbing. <laughs> All right. That is sounds a very good. Clear you, they can signal. see. They can see. Right. If this goes. Yeah, bad. I'm watching. I'm watching. Yeah. I, I have. I have... I'll, I'll pull out my longbow. Okay. I don't. I don't pull anything. I mean, I'll, I'll unsheath <laughs> my sword, I guess, but I have to do some charging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna go talk to this guy. Which guy? That guy. Okay. Thomas, Thomas you gonna go with Gilder? I'm gonna hold on, hold the range on this before I say yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be a little bit to the side of him, right here. Okay. As you approach the cultist, he turns around, looks at you, and goes, uh, and makes a kind of hand sign. He has one, one hand out in front of him, palm up, and he puts his other hand straight up on top of his palm. And he says, Zahakiel's eyes upon you, fr brothers. And yours as well. And also with you. <laughs> <laughs> Carter, uh, he's, he's, his face is unreadable behind the mask. Wait, was it Zahakiel's eyes upon you, brother? Is that what he said? Yes. Mm -hmm. I like it. Uh -huh. Have you come to join us in this auspicious day yes but i'm afraid we were not informed of what sort of ritual we are performing here will you fill us in brother uh he kind of sighs and rubs his face under his mask goes 
Well, if you were lucky enough to be invited by her eminence, inside of the cave, they're performing some sort of unsealing. Those of us out here in the cold, however, are just keeping watch. The last tomb uh, didn't go so well, and we were unable to recover Leo's artifact. Here, we hope to swim it better. Hmm. So where were you <laughs> heading? <laughs> I think laughing uh, would give away your position a little bit. I, um, stop. <laughs> can we see this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything you can see, you can see. Okay. Or like we have like direct line of sight. I mean, like there's no <laughs> like this thing is. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're just. I was like, what are these? They're just upside down cultists. <laughs> <laughs> they're, looking, they're looking. They're looking up a hill at something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the backs are turned to us. Yep. Yep. Um. Okay. I'm gonna kind of motion to Gilder and just kind of be like, "Well, we should probably get inside then." Get get into what? Kind of get, get inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother, lead the way. Uh, the cultist motions over his shoulder and points up the hill. All right, uh, you guys see, <laughs> see your friends uh, just sort of walk walk into the distance. Oh God, uh, I'm gonna message. I'm gonna message Tom and be like, "Wait, where are you going?" What's happening? What's the plan? Uh, you can you can reply to this message. The reply is gonna be that would be the time when you show yourselves to inside the fight. <laughs> right. I, I turn I turn to to the other people here and it's like, all right, I guess we're starting a fight. Is go time? No, it's go time. <laughs> That's what Tom told me. All right. I'm just gonna say, it's go time, guys. So what is go like? Do we just stand up and present ourselves? Like I, I don't really. Like... I <laughs> wait, wait. Do I get a Do is... I get a surprise round? Is yeah. My question. Are we in range yeah, for Carter? We get a surprise round. Okay. okay. Well, range for Carter. Okay. Well, right. what I'm what I'm gonna do. Uh, is we're gonna bonus action start a blade song and for full action I am going to cast mirror image. I like it. <laughs> Did you say blade song? Yeah. All right. So like you hear so like like Tom and and like Gilder probably hear like this like really like strange like ethereal like kind of like like song starting that's like punctuated a bit. By like, there's like, in our basically to just start this, like, Farian's is gonna fucking like crack the whip, man. We're gonna go. <laughs> okay, Vanriel's gonna give Farian a look of knowing and also surprise. <laughs> okay, right. On. Gilder, after quickly looking and see, okay, that that these gentlemen have their backs turned. As uh, hey, where are Gilder? <laughs> yeah, where you are. Okay. For a year, yeah, you you can be where Winter is, or within spaces around him. Or who is the green one? Green, green is Bobo. that's me, Gilder. Yeah. yeah, okay, you you guys are up in there. All right, okay. uh, where are the horse people? Can I can I move a bit? Yeah, I'm gonna put, move a little bit. I just put my person down somewhere. Yes, but... you can move yeah. a bit. Oh wait, there's one already here for me. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I, I'm I'm moving into position to begin the oh. stabbing. Stab right. it, the stabbing. As, as, <laughs> as we did mention. Stab. All right, yeah, I'll I'll be I'll be there. Yes. Okay. Make a uh, attack roll. Okay. Uh, I have to hold on. I have to break out my rapier. Game drop the rapier. It is not my knight. <laughs> initiative. Oh yeah, initiative, huh? Ooh, that's not very good for me either. It's a big oof. So okay. Is it initiative? Hey, Bumble. <laughs> Dude, can I not go last like every time? Nope. You're not. You're not. Like. 
next or not. I thought I get a bonus to initiative. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you get plus three. I get plus four. I get plus get zero. zero sad dice. Yep. You are in fact going third. Um. Wow. <laughs> these initiative rolls are so. Yeah, these suck ass. Uh. <laughs> how dare you? Mine's amazing. How far is this? Like, is this a drop? It looks like it's a drop. No, nah, it's a gentle uphill slope. Oh. I'm lucky. Okay. But we had the awesome boss battle music, or battle music. This is battle music. Yeah, it's just really um, music. Yo, did you make your attack roll? I missed it, or? No, hold on. Uh, I have to figure out. And Varian, what are you? What are you doing? I guess we'll because do the initiative order. Does that make sense? I have, I have all my dingus modifiers that I can slap on. Well, things. like, if I'm all the way back here. Yeah, that's a long jaunt for me to make to get to somebody. That's your movement. <laughs> well, it's like 35. Yeah. I mean, are you going to stand on it? Running through him. I mean, what if I want to? <laughs> that's, that's your call, man. I don't know. All right. I'm... Wait, so am I doing this? Yeah, so, yeah right, he's dead. So, um, well, who's dead? Uh, <laughs> they got, got it. it. Builder is going to kill after you do your thing. Who, who, who's he killing? This oh, man. Oh, okay. So I'm going over this guy, and I'm, I'm gonna, you know, introduce him to my newly acquired uh, Moon Touch Sword, which I have not named yet. Um, just attack. Oh shit! What's it uh, hit, go with it. Go with advantage too. Attack. Wait, is it Moon Touch? Oh, do I have to type in Moon Touch Sword? Maybe. Did you equip an item called a moon touch sword? I did. You just probably do a moon. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you viciously slash him across his back, drawing blood, which quickly stains the snow around his feet. He's shiny crimson. And he yells out, and the other cultists. I'll look towards your position. Oh, shit. Well, what'd you think was gonna happen? I don't know. You might have killed him in one shot. Oh, there's one with a pink dot. I don't like that. <laughs> I get three spell slots. Um, Did I? I haven't attacked yet. This is all the turn. cultists. Yeah, so all the cult. Oh, no, you're in a surprise round. JK, JK, JK. Gilder, you hit him and kill him. So your cultist just so falls to your feet. Okay, so then I I, I do uh, any uh, I'd like to use my bonus action to what do I get to do? I get to do fun things. Level three, uh, man. <laughs> uh, hide would be okay, the right. Take yourself. And I don't have advantage here, because why would I? Or do yeah. I? Correct. No, no advantage. There's no reason to. Okay. Ooh. Uh, Carter, you go. No, sorry, Farian, it's your go. Wait. Oh, it's my go. Is this cult still alive? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, you did the blade thing thing. Can, can I have? I have like a. Did do the blade song, yeah. I have a quick little. Yeah. Like, so Carter, it's your go. DM question. Yeah. Well, Wait, what's up? Okay. So like I've seen in the rolls that I did 11 damage and Van Reel did like seven so it's kind of like obvious how many hit points he has or is uh -huh. that sort of like i don't know it, it, it now and in my head i'm like it's always 10 hit or you know it's in between it's eight nine ten hit points right yeah i mean that's part I of just, the, the game this is info right yeah all right yeah. i'm just curious yeah. i am going to oh. also move i didn't move so i'm gonna it's also go worth home. noting that monsters don't have a specific number they have a hit die mm. and so he might be using the hit die he might be using the average Hmm. I'm okay. guessing he's using the average, but like technically D and D rules wise, like they have you know five D eight hit points just like we do, or something okay. to that effect. I'm gonna move there. Okay, Carter, here you go. Uh, I am going to cast a spell. Yeah, cast, cast a spell. We leveled up. We're doing things. I know. I just really want to do things. I'm gonna cast Tonto's Mark on this guy. On what guy? This guy. Way left. Far left. Far yeah. guy? 
Bottom left. Okay, so I can't. Oh, he's behind the initiative tracker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That seems like an overkill Hunter's Mark, but all right. And then I'm going to shoot him. Hunter's Mark is a bonus action spell? Yeah. Okay. Not hit him. No, I do Ooh, not. Wow. Oof. Although, you have advantage. Okay, sorry. I forgot. Right. Still do not hit. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the bot likes you tonight, Bumble. It really doesn't. It really, Thomas, yeah. it is your go. None of the cultists are looking at you oddly. Um. Okay. <laughs> would these people? Oh, sorry, these people count as within five feet of each other. So uh, like, no. no uh, these not. two are. These these two are. These guys right here. But this guy is not within five feet of either of them. Okay. Why? Sorry. Oh, question. Okay. That's fine. Um, okay. I'm gonna cast Ice Knife. Ice Knife, I create a charge device, fling it at somebody. Uh, and then on hit, they take 1d10 piercing damage, hit or miss, the shard then explodes. Each creature within the target, each creature within 5 feet of it must succeed on a dex throw or take some damage. So if I throw it at this dude, it'll explode and hit the one to the right, but not the one below. Oh, oh, oh. so no, so that should be they have to be like within the area. Yeah, around, like, right next to each other. Okay, so I'm not doing it. Gotcha. I mean, I don't know if Crow would let you do it, but if you did it in the middle and you didn't actually hit anyone, it would explode and hit. You you can aim at the empty spot. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that'll hit all of them. But only with the explosion damage. Yeah, only yeah, with the only explosion, with the explosion damage. damage. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll do that. And cast ice knife right in the air. You have to make deck saves, right? You have to make it deck saves of so thirteen. Okay. And they take how much? Uh, two d six. Do I roll it individually or for all of them at once? Uh, should be individually, but in essence of saving time, just do it all at once. Okay. You got ten. Ten damage. They're all. all they're all dead. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> You don't fuck around. Hmm. I not fast dead them. No, I have to do it one at a time. Okay, roll twenty. <laughs> Vanriel, it is your turn to the first actual turn of combat. I'm just gonna attack this bloke again. <laughs> I'm gonna replace myself with. Yeah, that you are. You're revealed. They would know you're you now. Yeah. Uh, how about me? I haven't been seen yet. Man, the bot is destroying you guys tonight. Oof. Would you <laughs> like to move or anything? Some of you. <laughs> Big oof. Oh, I stab myself. Protect me. No, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm just joking. Protect, Protect me, says the 18 AC elf. <laughs> Curl, Curl, am I am I in disguise still? Or... Yeah, you, you were, you were, as far as you know, you were hidden. Right. You feel Thank you me. feel like you hid very well. I'm just making sure. You just take that to the spot. <laughs> okay. The cultists that are still alive begin chanting. Don't like that. Oh no. Gilder, it is your turn. As you can see, flickers of fire sort of coalescing around the cultist on the hill's hands. Uh, we are going to use our pitching, pitching, pitching hand crossbow uh, to attack this bloke over here. Mm. And uh, on the left, this guy on the yeah. bottom left. Gotcha. Thank you for the ping. I didn't know how to ping. Just hold attack. it. Got two crossbow. And I've got to click a bunch of buttons. S A. Uh. <laughs> What is sharpshooter? SS? Yeah. SS, yeah. ADV. Why do you have advantage? I'm unseen, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, yeah, that's how it works. If you if he wasn't if he did not have advantage on the attack roll, he would not get sneak attack. Nice. Uh, so that hits and demolish. <laughs> <laughs> I want to send my hunter's mark onto the onto a different one. I feel like that that 
That's overkill. <laughs> so <much>. That poor <laughs> man. <laughs> Took his head and cleaned the fuck off. <laughs> With a hand crossbow of all things. I'll put my Sorry, hunter's book on this one. Okay. Uh, I will uh, slide over here. Uh, and be, uh, do I want to hide again? Probably. Ha ha. Okay. That will end my turn. Marion, it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna gonna slide on up right here and make an attack at range with a whip. Uh, oh wait, no, I have to. I'm going to wait to move my hunt to a smoke. Okay. Because I can, I only have one bonus action, right? Yeah. So if like Fal kills this guy, I can't move it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to make an attack. And that is a 20 to hit. I hit. Okay. That's going to be six. Nope. Five slashing damage. On um, this this chap? Yeah, on that guy. It's a bloke, sir. You you do finish him off. All right, cool. going to then take the rest of my movement. L55. There. I'm going to kind of like... I wanna be we're next to I'm gonna like Is this is this like ice thing like a cliff? Is it like rough terrain? No, it's kinda... just, just a gentle hill. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda go right up here, I think. That's awfully far forward, my friend. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. That's my turn. Okay. I don't think. That's your turn. Yeah. I'm gonna move up heel. Oh, I forgot. With with the spell that I cast, you see how like like Vanriel sees like multiple variants. <laughs> like there's there's like four of them Mirror kind of image. kind of around. <laughs> and, but all occupying the same spot. And then <laughs> Yeah. Pink Dot now has my hunt on smoke. Okay. And I'm gonna shoot him. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah that hits. <laughs> Bonus damage, yeah. Uh, your arrow sinks into the cultist's side, but does not deter their chanting. Thomas, uh, just to be clear, all four of them are chanting. Uh -huh. Four, but only oh. the pink one has fire in its hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we go on thorn with that one. <laughs> uh, the trusty thorn one. It's 30 feet, so I gotta scoot a little bit closer. Are you are you pulling him? Are you just whipping him? What's I'm just play? whipping him, and I have to pull. I mean, I have to pull if it hits. But mm -hmm. if it hits, Whoop. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> <laughs> it was the sound effect. It guaranteed it. I shout ye claw and thong with it. <laughs> okay, where are you pulling him? Uh, he's just be directly towards me, so... Oh, uh, toward, directly towards you? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, unfortunately for you... I don't know. Um, uh -oh. As you pull him, the spells... Or the chanting comes to an abrupt conclusion with a fiery flash. Oh, no. Well, it doesn't disrupt him. Fucking being yanked ten feet doesn't disrupt his chanting. That sucks. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? He might be a little big. Ragnaros! <laughs> <laughs> no. A bee made of pure fire appears in front of you. Don't like that. Hey, buddy. Dislike. Dislike. Does that mean we could still attack the guy behind him or is completely obscured? Uh. Cool. What was the answer? You didn't hear. Uh, you can, <laughs> you can, you can see the guy behind him still. He will take his turn immediately. Immediately. That sucks. Yeah. F. <laughs> yeah, it like, surges forward. I feel like your body and... is about to look like Crow's hand. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 
reaches out to grasp you. Can you turn into anything heat resistant? Burning hands, burning oh, yeah. hands. Sorry, now I can't. Uh, and he deals. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, fifteen damage, and your clothes starts on fire. Oh fuck! Fire status. Oh, the status icon's in roll twenty. Garbage. Okay. I guess we'll use the rolling bomb. Uh, when you are on fire, uh, until you take an action to douse the flames, you take five fire damage at the start of all of your turns. Cool. Fair real, it's your turn. And you can also be doused by someone else. Hmm. Does my protection from evil and good do anything about the fire? Is the fire evil? Read the tool. Fire, fire is not evil. Hmm. I'm interested. Well, I was going to cast that, but I don't know if it's better to do that or to douse the flames from Tomas's beam. Well, okay. Well, no matter what, my dumbass what, is moving what here. Would, what would Venreal do in this situation? Uh, Venreal's dumbass man. would go right here. That's one. That's for damn sure. So what else? <laughs> uh... I'm at 28. I'm going to cast Protection from Evil and Good onto Thomas. You're not going to dust the flame? Okay. Yeah, well, because this is a... <laughs> I, well, the thing is, I'm trying to think what's better long term. So concentration, after mm. 10 minutes, I have to touch you. Hope you like that. Uh, until the spell ends, one willing creature you touch is protected against certain types of creatures. One of them being... Elementals, which is what I assume this thing is, or Celestial, yeah, yeah. Aberration, yeah. Fey, Fiends, and Undead. The protection grants several benefits. Creatures of those type have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. Target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Oh, very good play. So I think that's better than dousing. Or I'm just guessing. I don't know. That's my turn. Neo. Okay. What are you doing? What's he doing? Womaging. Wait. Oh, there's two different roles for them? Yeah, there's two different yeah, roles. Yeah, right, this is regular cultist. Gotcha. Yield there, it's your go. Oh boy. Uh. When the uh, fire elemental surged forward at you, Vanriel, not Vanriel, Thomas, you saw it kind of sizzle and sputter and flare as it touched the snow underneath its feet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to yell and say, I'd, I'd be out there, but I don't think the fire dude likes snow. <laughs> Is it, is it snow or the water that the snow is made out of? I like. I, I have a feeling that Gilder's turn is going to be to cock a snowball into his crossbow and take a fire at the elemental. No. Uh, <laughs> Good try, though. Uh, I am going to slide over this way while I'm still hidden. And uh, I'm going to equip my brand spanking new fachunk, fachunk, fachunk. Light crossbow. And uh, can I prep a reaction here? Or is that too many yeah. things? Okay, I mean, then I will. What? Well, yeah. Hmm. I yeah. I I, I assume that like equipping. Do you do you do you stow your hand crossbow or do you drop it? What the bloody hell is the difference? <laughs> if you stow it, it uses your action. 
how affectionate are you about this this crossbow? Oh, okay, so if I stow it, okay, so if I stow it, I can't start re Okay, so I am, all right, so no, no, then I will not use my action. I am going to equip. I will stow my hand crossbow and rapier and the, uh, break out okay. the light crossbow as I remain hidden. Okay. Uh, Farian. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Um, we are going to ask. Chromatic orb on, on the darkness. No, <laughs> you mean on the on the, the flame elemental or fire thing? I don't know. It's probably that, but I don't actually know in character. Um, I'm gonna do that first level cold damage. So she's, she's right. basically you basically see her like throw like a four inch like ball of ice like right into like the center of that thing or try to at least. And I don't think that hits. It's, uh, 11. That hits. Oh, it does? Okay. Well, let's hope the damage rolls are good. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that wasn't an 8. <laughs> it's 8 damage. <laughs> 8 cold damage. Okay. Uh, uh, and then I'm going the to... Elemental howls as the ball of ice crashes into its chest, but quickly dissipates to nothing but steam. But you can tell that you have its attention. Okay, I don't like that, really. And I'm gonna, like, <laughs> gonna move on back here. <laughs> um... Have the cultists taken a tone since this thing came up? Yeah. yeah they yeah, moved they, they moved. moved. they moved they right moved. before me. They moved. They were, like, back here when they came here. Yeah, they were all on the other side. Um... Yeah, I'm going to move back a little bit because I don't really want to be surrounded. <laughs> but I also, let's see. Yeah, I'll move back there. And I go back, back here a bit. Yeah. Good. Okay, Carter. I'm going to keep shooting at Pinky. Okay. Hopefully I'll stoke. You know, shooting at Pinky. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Yikes. Thomas, it's your turn. You take five damage. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> from, from being on fire. Okie dokie. I'm gonna use a bonus action and turn into a motherfucking brown bear. Mm. Uh, oh yes! In I'm front of all let... of us. Yeah, I'm... that's not weird. <laughs> that's not weird. <laughs> don't, don't, make weird. weird. don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. Just be cool, Gilder. Jeez. Be cool. Um, yeah, and then um, in while doing that, I'm letting my clothes drop to the ground, which would douse them, I assume. I'm looking that up right now. Because I choose what happens to my clothes. I can either mold them into my form or let them fall or whatever the fuck. All I know is that... So does that mean when you turn back, back, you're going to be naked? Yep, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're about to that see some like new druid action. Yeah, I'd like to prep a bonus action. Oh. <laughs> you choose whether you're going to fall with your face merged into your new form or with worn. No one heard that. Oh. I'm sorry. I heard. Mean? I heard it. But... Well, no. Um, are we worried about yeah, the... math. Math checks out. Are we You're worried good. about the magic cloak getting damaged? I don't know. Are you? No, it's not mine. He shed it as fast <laughs> as he could because some asshole didn't Being put him out. Yes. Right. If yeah, I drop, only you, does. Okay. You are no longer on fire if you Excellent. drop your clothing. Cool. Is, is the cloak still on fire on the ground? No. no. I'm gonna go it's with the elves in the snow. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna turn into a bear. And mm. so now I am a motherfucking brown bear. Uh, Hell yeah. And I. Um, if I scoot here, am I. Do I provoke an attack of opportunity from the big boy? No, you're not. Okay, so I'm still <laughs> touching it on the corner. Uh huh. 
Okay. Oh. Um, I'm gonna do a multi attack. Uh, I'm going to attempt to bite the cultist. Okay. I'm not gonna tell the bear no. Ch Ch Chad, Chad is asking for growls, by the way. <laughs> oh, damn it. Plus five to hit. <laughs> Sick. Man, you guys are just <laughs> struggle busting tonight with the rolls. My what is, lord. What is this, you guys? Uh, <laughs> yeah, just everyone fails as Gilder kills one person around. Is what's happening? And then. Hey, I got half of a person and threw a snowball at an elemental. <laughs> I did hit somebody once. And then I'm also going to try and claw it. Uh huh. Because multi attack. Yeah, because multi attack's pretty swell. Not fuck us up this time. Excellent. Yeah, you got him. You got him. You got him. The it damage. Hits. Yeah, the damage is fifteen. <laughs> yeah, he did. Okay. He did. So I'll uh, I'll say I look a little bit shambly in my new form, so I miss the bite horribly. But then <laughs> I, I pick myself back up and <laughs> swipe him crane across the face. Can they can? Can he talk? No. no. He's just describing no what he does. Okay. He's, a bear. he's a bear. He's a bear. Roar. <laughs> Give us a bear roar, Winter. Come on. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm bad at... <laughs> don't, don't make me do this right now. Okay, okay. WTF? I think that bear is constipated. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I, I'm getting there. So the, the other two cultists seen the brown bear <clears throat> just rip apart their good buddy. Mm. Uh, well, sprint away buddy. and see or stumble across good old Gilder. And they turn to their side and whisper to him, Man, we gotta get out of here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then start making their way north towards the cave. I think Gilder should go with them. Stab him in the back. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You gonna do it? Uh, I'm looking at all my things that I can do here. Tells him to go inside. I... No, Gilder does not uh, leave his, his will not leave his friends. So they go inside the cave. Is it my turn? It's not my turn. They will. They will run off. Okay. Go inside the cave. Um, Pinky. Not going yet. Fire elemental is. Pinky in um, the brain. <laughs> Pinky in the brain. is going to attempt yeah. to hit the bear and is attacking with disadvantage due to protection from evil and good. You're welcome. For the real one, because <laughs> I didn't do the fire. All right, bear, bear is fireproof. <laughs> Hell yes, bear. Very cool. All of the tendrils of flame lick against your fur, but you feel them repelled by a magical force, and you stay nice and cool. The cool. Manriel, it's your go. I, I turn it. Back around and go. <laughs> 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 uh. uh... Oh man! All right. Well, I only have two more spell slots. So I don't think I want to do any more spells. So, wait, what is this? I'm gonna channel divinity. Wait. Okay. I have, to move, I have to move up, right? Yeah. That, that doesn't count. That's not a spell slot, is it? You get so no. many uses. For yeah, it. it's like yeah, that's something different. All right. So, I'm gonna be honest. I I can't. I don't know what oath you are. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, I'm, I'm just reading right now. So I, I'm channeling divinity. I'm going. Are you a to... devotion paladin, right? Oh. Um. Where do I find that? <laughs> Which one are you doing? Sacred weapon or turn the undead, dude? I'm doing sacred weapon. Okay. Okay. As an action, you can imbue a weapon with positive energy. For one minute, the weapon mm -hmm. is considered magical. You add plus three to attack mm -hmm. rolls. It also emits a bright light, but I think it's a moonlit sword and already does that. You can end the effect. Yeah. So basically, it's plus three. So it is emitting light because your moon, your moon sword is not currently emitting light it's not dark. Oh. Whatever. That's fine. So let's see, I have to hit that button. 
Is, is this like a cliff where, uh... No, it's not. And then no, it's, it's a hell. hell. It's a hell. So do I roll it's attack, a... moon, plus what? It's an action. You can't attack. What? Oh, it's not a bonus. Oh, so this is my action for the turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so channeling channeling divinity oh. is you are you are entreating help from Zadkiel. No. And he Rude. is em empowering your sword for future rounds. Oh. oh, okay. Hmm. Thinking. I don't know if I actually want to do that then. I thought it was I thought I could still attack. Ah, yeah, whatever. Let's just do it. Alright. And then I am going to though. Hmm. Step away from the fire elemental. <laughs> a little bit. Listen, I don't have uh, protection like a bear does, so I'm going to move over here. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Pinky raises a hand, and with a few guttural harsh barks, a streak of flame shoots out towards Farian. Okay. What's... And hit. <clears throat> Wait, hang on. Hold up. Oh, he's got clones. Yep, I your image. Hang on a sec. I am checking what I needed to roll. I think I did it, but I need to check what the spell says. <laughs> uh, six or higher. Yes, correct. It's an eleven, so it hits a duplicate. Uh huh. Um. Which yeah, I think you see, you see one of your duplicate yeah. illusory bodies just get blasted to hell by a stream of fire arcing across the battlefield from Pinky's hands. Mm, don't like that. Kill there. It's your go. Uh, we will. Actually, Pinky's gonna move behind the fire elemental. Directly behind, so I can't see it anymore. Yeah, large. He'll, he will obscure. Will he, though? I mean, you can also move. But... I am, yeah, I'm looking to try to get an angle on him. <laughs> like, if I move, I, I can see him, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can still see him? You can currently see it. Pinky can't hide from everyone. Fire elemental's not that big. Uh, a gilder breaks out his shiny, spanking, flawless new light crossbow and will attack with advantage upon Pinky. Ten crossbow light. Sneaky there, got a sharpshooter and an advantage. <laughs> Die. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as the arrow streaks towards Pinky, you see a magical barrier erect itself around Son it, of and the arrow bitch. cracks against it and falls to the ground. Oh, no! So the barrier winks back out of existence. No. Marion, it's your go. Fuck. <laughs> wait, wait, it goes wait, back did, out of... Did we see who made that barrier? Was it Pinky or the flame? It was Pinky. Pinky. Come on, that was good. Pinky and the flame. Come on, thank you. Thank you. Pinky and the flame. <laughs> <laughs> like Section it. recap notes. Pinky and the flame. <laughs> Girl, if I do if I do the movement that I am showing, will I trigger an attack of him? No. no. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna try to to use the old good old whip on this this, this clown. Will be a teach, teachable moment. This is the fire elementals attack opportunity. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna try to hit this kid, this clown with the whip. With the whip, give him the whip. I it's I mean this is 16. All right, same thing. The whip cracks out. And you're sure it's gonna hit, and at the last second, you see Pinky drop a hand sign, and a magical barrier flickers around there. Yo, I think this guy's got shields, so we can't really. Uh, I just penetrate. I just get very mad at him. <laughs> I don't know what he's Carter, doing, and I am, I'm backing up one more, one more <clears throat> five foot increment. Okay, I'm gonna start closing the gap because obviously this arrow thing, thing isn't is fucking walking. <laughs> 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 exactly what happened when I tried to play a ranger, honestly. Are we allowed to attack the elemental? You can attack whatever yeah. you want, Lionhouse. You can attack. You can attack um Thomas. <laughs> well, that just seems I rude. Know. Because I, I can't wake him this round. I'm going to shoot him with the arrow one more time, even though it's probably pointless. Why don't we shoot the elemental? Maybe you know you just need to get really close. Because the pinky is my quarry. I, he is the one with hunter smoke. My quarry. Wait, the bear, the bear um, has protection. Bobo, did you use your bonus action to hide again? Uh, I didn't, and I, sh I, I wanted to, but you kind of rushed it. I guess I should. Yeah, go, go ahead and do that. 
Oof. Okay. I forgot to hit Nendo. <laughs> 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 All right, even from within 20 feet, Arrow falls to the ground just a few feet away from Carter. Thomas, it's your turn. <laughs> um. Uh, okay, I... Unless you want to finish your movement, hunt. Yeah, did you have something you want to do? <clears throat> no, I don't want to use the rest of my movement. Okay. Uh... I was I, I was walking off the arrows that I am losing to the devil. Gotcha. I'm gonna go over here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk in a circle around this flame, dude. Carefully, carefully, carefully fending carefully. off its yeah. yeah I'll be like around me like a Dark Souls boss. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm gonna attack the shit out of the cultist. <laughs> I don't think bears can dodge roll. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I'm gonna bite the shit out of the cultist. God, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> I just don't know guys, how to bite. Get, you guys gotta get some real dice. This bot is really fucking us up. I don't know how to bite at all. <laughs> the bot right, is then... clinky tonight. Is that yeah, two ones really... in a row for you? On it bite, is. Exactly. The and bot is really fucking crazy. We're gonna... Claw him because apparently we're better at that. You don't know how to use the new mouth, huh? <laughs> new mouth. That's complicated, it is. okay? New mouth. <laughs> it is. Uh, that hits. Okay. And does eleven damage. Nice. All right. Um, that's not. That's not my DM pointer. Uh, you yeah. slash Pinky across the chest and. Blood begins to seep through the robes and onto the ground beneath them. Fire Elemental is going to try and go get Carter, I think. Mm, wooed. <laughs> Do I get an attack of opportunity? opportunity? Okay. Yeah. Do I attack both of them again? No, so you only get one, one attack. Pick, pick one. Okay, oh, wait, no, 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 no. Okay. Let me double check because it depends on how it's worded. I haven't looked at the cards for a while. As a special action, the bear makes two attacks. One with its bite and one with its claw. Okay, then yeah, no, just just one attack. Okay. Multi-attack isn't usually a... Multi-attack is not even the attack. Yeah. We're all in... Because we really don't know how to fucking yes. fight today. Um, you hit the fire elemental, but... However, comma. Uh, the sort of, your paw just kind of passes through it, and it's really, really, really hot, and you see the fire, like, instantly coalesce back behind your swipe after briefly parting. So I do no damage? No, it takes some damage. Okay. Or <laughs> all damage. That's what, it's what's referred to as annoyance damage. <laughs> okay, um... Carter, you see two long, lashing lips of flame shoot towards you. Man, should deflect both of them with the bow. <laughs> I'm not completely incompetent, just mostly incompetent. Man, real here, go. <clears throat> um, can I uh, make it to Pinky? Going around the fire elemental? Yeah, no. So I have to go around them. You mean I can't run through the fire, dude? That's pretty. I mean, you you can. You would just be in. I don't think I. I guess I make it. Do I give him a chance to attack me though? No. Better no. You yeah. only take attack of opportunity if you move outside of the red square. If you're inside of the red square and you move outside of the red square. Right. Okay. So I can do this and I I can attack the cultist, the pinky. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, luckily I was channeling my sword for the last uh, turn. I'm very very interested seconds. to see what this can do. Me too. All right, so I just give you six seconds to to pray to Zadgil. Attack. Do I just do I have to type anything special with this? I don't have a command for it because I didn't realize you had it. So you, I think you could just. I don't remember. I don't remember. You just add the head. damage at the end. I think it's is... yeah. The, the two hit. So do I just, no, it's... if I type in attack moon plus three, is that does that do it? Um, how's that work? It's two hit, right? That's like a good question. It's plus three to hit. 
It, yeah, it's just attack with the moon ball and then add. It says plus three to attack rolls. Yeah, so it's two hit and two damage. Okay. So attack with the thing and then we can add right. mental math three to it. Dude, what the fuck is mental math? Yeah, so you have a 24 to hit and you do eight damage. Bumble can okay. do simple math. This is why they paid Bumble the big bucks. Yep. <laughs> uh, with a last attempt at a hand sign, your sword cleaves through the magical barrier and takes the cultist down. Mm. Well done. That's what I meant to do. Is the Elemento still alive? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Mm. I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it's very pleased that its master is now dead. Get him, team. Kill her, it's your turn. <laughs> Distance, Get these initiatives. It's so bad, dude. Attack with a uh, hand cross, uh, a crossbow light, crossbow light. Uh, SA, SA, I have advantage. Uh, you do not. It knows uh, where you are. Yeah, but I have a teammate within five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, you get sneak attack. You don't get advantage. Let me check that. Okay. That's right, because I'm not on Let me Four to hit. That's what? Four. Four to hit. So it misses. Uh, okay, yeah. That's fine. Uh... And then with the rest of our turn... Uh... You still have your bonus action. I do my bonus action. Might as well just rip the old stealth check. Even though there's not much here. Sneaky boy. Builder is really good at hiding in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> My head cannon is you're just like diving into the snowbanks and swimming away. Very <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Just a vague outline right. of an ass sticking up. <laughs> um, it doesn't it's really crawling have... under the snow. I don't think it really has a respiratory system, so I'm gonna just have to use the whip because like all of my other damage is poison. It doesn't have a respiratory. <laughs> I don't. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's made of fire. So, I'm gonna whip it. Whip it real good. Is it gonna be good though? <laughs> it's gonna One be. One of us has to have a bad. It's bad gonna be a fourteen. Uh, that does hit. Okay. That's gonna be a whopping six damage. Okay. <laughs> Then I'm gonna... Uh, you see the fire elemental. <laughs> uh, recoil from the whip slash. And it seems to take a lot longer this time to pull itself back together. And it's still just sizzling against the snow. With just steam rising up around it every time it moves to try to do anything. Hmm. Okay. And Carter, then... it's your turn. Yeah, I'm moving oh, back. You're moving still. I'm okay, moving. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't, Carter, yeah, it's... What are you doing? <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'm going to... Move I'm my sorry. Huntress Smoke under this guy. Yeah. The reason I do that, guys, is because in my old parties, we used to do the other person finish any movement they were taking before they, or after, well, the other person started taking their actions just to speed things up. So I'm yeah. used to, like, that's fine. After the action's done, you just keep going. Yeah, I'm good with that. And then drop my longboard, pull out my spear, and, like, and try and hit him with that. Uh huh. Which spear? My long, my long spear. Your long spear? Yeah. Okay. It's so cool that you can just key things up. Great bot. Yeah, that hits. Okay. What is it? Oh, 1d6. I deal 15 damage. Pokey pokey. And it, yeah. Um, when you poke it, a rush of flame shoots up the spear, and you take five fire damage. Oh. <laughs> well, it didn't happen to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, you weren't, you weren't yeah. close enough? Yeah, I'm not close enough. Yeah, suck it, dude. Ten foot reach. <laughs> bear, bear, it's your turn. Funnily <laughs> enough, I think the spear is also a reach weapon. Mm -mm. Is it not? Mm -mm. Okay. Is, I is it like a special long spear? Uh, five. Five. 
Lance, Lance is the special. But Lance has his own set of issues. Um, alright, well... I it's guess we're average. gonna... Yeah. gonna rush in there. And, uh, try and swipe this homie. Uh, we're gonna attack with Claw first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that hits. Okay, you take five fire damage. Uh, I'm gonna bite it. Are you though? No. Boy, JK. <laughs> Sorry, I, I totally thought Bumble's roll was one of yours. No, never, keep going. It's like three doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and bite it. That seems like a bad choice, but let's do it. I mean, it's gotta hit at some point, right? No, more because I'm okay. sticking my face in this fire. <laughs> how do you want to do it? Uh, yes. Oh, is this gonna do how, it? How right. are you killing this fire elemental with <laughs> a bear's teeth? <laughs> That's a great question, crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's say from all of the face planting in the snow, <laughs> yes. my my head's been kind of covered with snow. There's like a bit, bit of snow in my mouth, just happenstance. And then, uh, yeah, as I like bite into him, all the snow sizzles. It just sizzles, it sizzles away. Yeah. You take, you take five last fire damage from Spicy Mouth. Spicy Mouth? <laughs> Aw, my protection's in. And the fire lentil goes ahead and dies. You have all earned enough XP. Enough XP. Enough XP for level four. Really? But we can't level up until we rest. Long right? rest. Long rest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Cool. That's how he gets us. Mm. Uh, that X was my equipment. Hmm. Too bad. It's gone now. Oh, no. <laughs> Ground <laughs> ate it. <laughs> You're out of combat. Ooh. All right. All the cultists are dead. I'm gonna. Uh, may I, may you I, up the mountain? You think you can I, see the entrance they're talking about? May I switch back to being Gilda? Yeah, he's down in the corner. Can just grab him. Is there okay. anything like useful on these cultists? I can't. Oh no, yes, I can. Maybe. I, I would like to look. Actually, stole my long. Okay, yeah, I got too. Thank okay. you. I would like to look at Pinky's, Pinky stuff. Does anybody else want to go through Pinky stuff? Uh, Thomas, it was technically your turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, yeah. scoot over here and start chomping on this dude. <laughs> start okay. eating him. <laughs> okay, I gotta eat. You, you, you know, there's no benefit to that, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. You deserve it. Have that. some inspiration. <laughs> oh, this is a treat. <laughs> Mario, what do you want to do? Vanriel? Oh, um, man, I, I'll, I'll just. Uh, loot some people. I'll probably loot uh, <laughs> this these area of these these full these fools. I will pick Builder up. took off his disguise. Yes, I'll pick Marian, up. Marion, uh, you wanted to look through Pinky's pockets. Pinky's Carter pockets. wanted to look through Pinky's pockets. Yeah, yeah, and pick up my longbow. Okay. Does Pinky's pockets have any pretty pennies in them? <laughs> <laughs> um, amongst the group, you find. Uh, Granule finds uh, 23 silver. Farian, you find 2 gold and a uh, smallish ruby that is warm to the touch. Hmm. With Carter's help. All right. Oh, well, I will give I will give Carter uh, one of the gold pieces. And... Um... Ruby was sewn into the back of Pinky. Okay. Um, and underneath it, you can see that her skin has been scorched and blistered. Oh shit! Uh, oh. Does it appear to be magical? Yes. And I have ten minutes to identify it. Wow. Ask the party. <laughs> hey guys. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I found a kind of like hold up the warm room and be like, "Can you give me ten minutes?" It's really freaking cold out here. And not to mention, two cultists just ran into the cave away from that bear. Yeah, I was hoping someone would forget about in. them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think we need to uh, sally forth 
As okay. A, as Gilder picks up his bolts and I don't know, maybe checks right. out. Yeah, I will. I will pocket. Here. We'll pocket mysterious ruby. I think we. I'm not going to try and find my. Arrows, it is they just extremely warm out. in your pocket, Arian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it in the same pocket as the other thingy? No, it's in a different pocket. Is it gonna? Do I feel like it's gonna? A car, pair of cargo shorts. <laughs> she has all her magical artifacts. I'm a wizard. I have like multiple things. Do I feel like it's gonna burn through my pocket? Yeah, it's it's like it's like really hot. Well, okay. Uh, well then I'm not gonna. I'm gonna like get, put it in my pocket and then be like, wait, no, that's like a bad idea. Then I'm just gonna kind of like, I don't know, hold it. Ah, <laughs> wouldn't it be hot to your touch? Put it in the snow. Yeah. I don't know. I I I just <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Um. I want it. <laughs> I want it. I don't know how to how to carry it. Um. What if I filled a bag full of snow and stuck the ruby in the bag? <laughs> like a small pouch bad. just full of snow and just like that probably wouldn't work. That would just melt it and then it would eventually catch on fire. Well, I'm gonna hold on to it until Crow tells me that I take fire damage. <laughs> okay, I gotta help you track of that. <laughs> so, Gilder, are you leading the way up the mountain? What? Sorry? Are you leading? What'd you say? Are you I'm, leading us? You're gonna sally four. I mean, I'll, yes, I'll follow. We... Uh... Alright, yep. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Shit. What's we that? Should got, we should have oh. gotten the health potions from K&J before we left. We should go. I thought we did that. Them. I thought we did. I have four. Yeah. Did we? Yeah. You guys have the supplies for that. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm going to grab my equipment and hide behind a snowbank and turn back <laughs> into a human and put it on. <laughs> Okay. Um, you hear Jacob's voice like, "Is the fighting over?" Wow. Ish. There's more. They're dead here. Dead but there's more inside. Um. They come around the corner and are rolling the cart after you guys. And you gonna... see Jacob's face kind of like blanch a little bit at all of the horribly mutilated cultist bodies and. All right, I'm gonna like face, I'm gonna look really quickly. I'm gonna quickly like walk up to them and like kind of like show them like the the like really hot room and be like, "Can you guys just like put this somewhere safe and make sure it doesn't set anything on fire? I'll be back for it." All right, Johnson takes it and does a little bit like hot potato. Yeah, and then sort of just drops it on the ground and sort of just stares at it. <laughs> Farron just kind of shrugs and be like, "Yeah, that's that's fair. Just make sure it doesn't you know set anything on fire, but." I'd like to look at it later, but I don't think now is the time. Jacobs wrings his hand and says, I do feel so terribly bad about you guys constantly doing all this fighting. You know what? This time we're going to come with you into the cave. And as he finishes the sentence, you hear like a blood curdling scream. He shakes his head and goes, never mind. <laughs> well, what did the, what did the blood curdling scream sound like, Crow? Um, it kind of starts out, and then... No, I was trying to get you to scream on... <laughs> yeah. So it, it starts out like a normal scream, and then sort of uh, pitches up and fades out. So it's like... <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. And it came very clearly from the cave. All right. I'm gonna, yeah. Oh, well, oh. onwards and inwards. I start trudging off. This time, nice. spiel out, not long though. Yes, uh, <laughs> if we can take a second. And, uh, cause I'm, I'm hurting. <laughs> not doing great. I thought we just said no to the identify second. Okay, <laughs> let's go. We didn't say that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to chug a potion then. Just one potion, bro? What? Just one potion, my friend? Yeah. Well, so... I need to wait till a long rest. I, I would offer to heal you, but I only got two spell slots left. 
That's okay. Mm. You can always oh, lay on hands. Yeah. No, but lay on hands is like. Oh no! Wait, it does more now. How's it leveled up? Yeah, you like you should have a lot more now. <laughs> you have. Hold on. Thumb. Where is it? Where, oh shit! Where's it at? Is it divine sense? No. Lay on hands. There it is. Yeah, you have 15 health to keep in your store. Okay, so where are you? How, where are you at, Winter I'm Thomas? At nine. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. You're out of. It just. What? Winter has nine out of twenty-nine health currently. Yes. No, I was gonna say like he should take a he should take a health potion, one of them, and then I want to see you know we can see where he's at. And I can... Okay, what's the healing? H pot, uh, I think. I think it's H pot, yeah. Nice, I heal six. I rolled like dog shit. It's, it's average, whatever. <laughs> it's like wait, that's average though. Yeah, fifteen. A little bit below. So I can do. I'll do five. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. You creep up on the entrance of the cave. And inside, you see a scene. Um, there is something like 50 to 60 cultists milling around uh, on the cavern floor in front of a large sealed pair of stone doors that have intricate carvings surrounding them on either side. Pillars. A lot of craftsmanship has gone into this room. There is a woman dressed in rich red sitting in a uh, ornate chair like a wooden chair plush plush cushion plush back uh obviously in charge and keeps motioning a hand and a number of cultists step out onto the floor she calls out a word which those of you who speak celestial uh would know means illuminate yeah and a beam of light arcs out of the door, goes between the cultists, and then they scream and fade into nothingness. After doing this two or three more times, she stands up, shakes her head, and begins to cast a spell. Do I recognize what spell it is? Uh, she's opening a teleportation gate. Okay, well, I'm going to tell the party that. <laughs> and the, um, the gate opens, and the cultists begin filing in one by one. Okay. Well, they're leaving. Uh, um, are we, how, how are we going to get through the door? Just the regular door? I mean, why... I mean, maybe we should just wait until they all leave. We don't have to fight them. Uh, that was a lot of them. Like, like yeah. we have to fight them eventually, but like, we don't want to fight them all at once. Right. Yeah. right. Hmm. Okay. They are all going to leave. I believe I recognize some of these symbols. I mean, they can leave. And the portal closes in a fiery flash. Well, that was cool. I don't work you. Leaving you alone in the room. You right. recognize some of these symbols? What exactly are we looking at here? That's the floor. The floor has an intricate number of tiles laid out on it, some of which have colored symbols. Uh, your experience with the arcane Farian would lead you to believe that the colored symbols are actually mostly for show. They don't really necessarily mean anything. Okay. Just craftsmanship. All right. I relay that to the party. Just like, yeah, it looks like um, the colors probably don't mean too much, but the symbols, on the other hand. And I uh, think... The room depicts a... Beautiful night sky. Carved out of stone. Exquisite detail. Standing over the center of the room, like above the tile puzzle, is a full The full cut out. Full moon. Thank full you. moon. It's I mean it probably, but <laughs> like do the tiles do anything if we step on them? Do they they sink in the ground or 
Uh, no, but when you're on the symbol tiles, you can feel a magical thrum in your body. Your the hair on your arms and legs stands on end. On the symbols. Yeah. That we just were told were just for show. The colors. Oh, the colors, were, colors, were colors. For show. Oh, the colors are just for show. Hmm. Well, let's maybe think about the people that have led us here and what sort of things maybe of use. Hmm? Gildo, did I hear you say you recognize these symbols? Uh, what, you know, um... Because hmm. I think you said that in character. Hmm. <laughs> you did indeed say that in your Gilder voice. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, where, where might you recognize these symbols from? Well, as one has often sailed on the open seas as a member of the Midlands Navy as a youth, uh, staring up into the sky one has to navigate by finding the constellations up in the sky. And these, maybe, perhaps, are in fact some of those stellar symbols. Does anyone else recognize anything? Yeah, um, go ahead and give me a... Um... I don't know. History? Uh, history? Do you want what I rolled? Wait, Earlier? Wait. No. What? Oh, okay. New roll. Fuck, my history fucking blows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely re remember the symbols were involved in some way with sailing. Like, you definitely saw them when you were sailing. Maybe something to do with the star charts, maybe not. Bumble over here, screen peeking. <laughs> I want to look at you when you're talking. <laughs> Suppress your natural human instinct. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me, I'm hideous. You could also just like angle your monitor a little bit and it wouldn't be a problem, but no. <laughs> well. Uh, and Vanriel, you realize that this is 100% a shrine or something dedicated to Lilial. Just from all the moon and night imagery. Well, in Huey news, if we fuck it up, we get obliterated. Yay! How do you know that? That's what looked like what was happening to the guys, the like uh, mage guys. No, I thought that was I thought that was from the lady performing the ritual. As long as we don't speak that that word, we'll probably be fine, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not good at magic stuff. <laughs> Aaron just, uh, like shrugs and is like, I can't make much out of this either. The only symbol I recognize is in this corner here. Like walks up to this other tile. Well, we do know that our cult seems to be rather infatuated with uh, uh, Zahakiel. Yeah, well, but that's the symbol for Azrael. These, are, least, think these are the symbols for Lelael. Hmm. The moon would signify the Angel of Shadow. Nice arrows. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe... Hmm... Mm. You can go stand on it. I'm not gonna. I'll go stand no. on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I need your person. Oh, hold on. I got him. Okay. And you're big. What the hell? So big. I put Sick boy. Big boy. I'm standing right next. To, I'm standing right next to the one I recognize. Is that the only one I recognize too? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so in character, Vanriel knows realizes that it's a whatever shrine or monument to Laleo. Yeah. Sees a moon symbol on the ground and decides to stand on it with reckless abandon. Yep. So that you as you stand on it, you hear an audible like hum and the hair on your arms and legs stands up. And if you turn and look at the group, you guys can sort of see that Vanriel's hair is kind of standing up in a little bit 
wispy, and his eyes have a strange uh, black glow to them. Hey, what's the orb doing? The mysterious orb. I'm going to take it out of my pocket and look at it. Um, Give me an arcana. Arcana, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, Ooh, you should be good at these. Really good. That is a 17 plus 5, so that's going to be a 23. Oh, yeah. Two? You can see you can see this symbol reflected in the orb. I can see that symbol. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna keep the orb out, kind of, as this whole whatever we're doing happening. Just the, only... the orb to wait. So Van Riel steps on the plate. What? I mean, what if he steps off of it? Does the symbol stay? I just kind of like like gesture for Van Riel to look at the. The orb and I'm like I don't I don't know when this symbol appeared so I don't know if that's because you stepped on that the panel or what mm. you want to just kind of quick see what happens what's the worst general do you want to hold the orb or mm. how do you want to yeah I can hold it <laughs> okay well I'm gonna give it to you <laughs> hey Van we all... do the orientation of the moons mean anything on, uh, Van Riel, as you take the orb, it grows a little bit cold, and the symbol in the middle disappears and turns into a star. Wait, which symbol? A star. star. Hmm. Um, Arian is going to see that and kind of points. It's going to be like point and at that star. <laughs> Should some like I, I guess I'll go stand on it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So same thing. You feel magically spooked, and your eyes take on a uh, golden glow. Fancy. Does the orb change? Uh, Gilder, you would you would recognize the symbol specifically as the Lilial constellation. What symbol? Mm, the star. The upside down. No. Oh, the upside You're down. Not... Yes. <laughs> you scrolled too far down. Yeah, that one. <laughs> hey, Vanriel, did the orb change? Do we have a different symbol in there, or is it still the same? Uh, still the same. Still the same. Hmm. I, I like walk over and like try and give him to get me the orb. You're gonna try and lead your plate? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, you walk over and you grab the orb. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my plate and stand on it. You don't see anything else in the orb. Damn it. Hmm. Wow, I just assumed I gave it to her. Rude. But yeah, I gave, I gave the order. Did you? I gave the order card to her. I don't care. Hmm. <laughs> um. Somebody just speak friend and enter. <laughs> <laughs> what do the arrow? What do the arrows mean? <laughs> uh. No, forget that. <laughs> um. What's what's this supposed to be? It's just like a triangle thing. Hmm. I'm just gonna try to step on. I'm gonna try to step on the one. <laughs> that step you on know. The, yeah. Well, yeah. I'll step on the one that I know and see what happens. <laughs> uh, I, I just kind of shrug. And I'm like, well, we'll see what happens. Um. Do you feel that same sort of? motivating magical charge that everyone else does and to the others around you your eyes take on a very deep silver glow shows correctly <laughs> uh i mean what do we all so, step on the plate to no well well these are the ones we step on so far are, are all constellations are you uh you cut out oh the ones we've stepped on so far are all constellations so does anybody else recognize any of these shapes as a potential constellation 
think so. Let, let me whack my brain, but I don't think so. Maybe this one. I recognize these shapes. Is it I mean, they should be. Maybe this one. Well, my message is from Quote. Yeah, I believe, uh, the, I I believe the triangle is, is uh, material. Material? Material, maybe. This one might be. I don't know. Probably not, actually. Let me look at it. Uh, I don't like none, none of you either. recognize any other shapes as constellation shapes. Wow, roll better. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, what that, I'm just gonna say that. What if I step off? If I just stand on nothing? You don't feel anything. Hold on a second. Do his eyes go back? Yes. Regular old fairy and eyes. <laughs> yeah, now they're like, you know, a little bit more green, a little bit less silver. <laughs> Grand Rules, you rack your brain. You think you remember an additional constellation. Yeah. <laughs> like somebody. Which I, somebody which I have sent you. <laughs> <laughs> In Discord. Yeah, but. I, I thought someone said they need said 17. That was a. I mean, that doesn't. Oh, God damn it. I gotta take out his cats. Hold on. <laughs> Cat break. What's that? What? A banana. It's a banana. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. That's what Lilo's constellation actually looks like. It's a really relaxed moon. Okay. It's really relaxed. I it's mean, so that's the thing. I was looking through my list, but I don't recognize any other ones on here. Or like, this isn't about the oh, other yeah. people, though. This is just about Lilio. Why? Theoretically, maybe it's a hot kill because that's what the other dudes were saying when we came in. Mm -hmm. I just like get off my thing and start checking other symbols. Do my eyes glow on any of the other ones? Every time you're on a mark symbol, your eyes glow. Damn. Is it always the same color? Uh, yeah. Okay. Carter is always goldy. Gold. Oh, hmm. Pro did that on purpose. <laughs> what? <laughs> so every time I step on one of these, I get silver eyes. Is it only when you're on a, on, on a shape when you get the eyes or whatever? Mm -hmm. If you're not on a shape, you don't have them. Does anything look different when I'm like looking around with glowy eyes? Um, You think you see on the ceiling uh -huh. looks more like an actual real night sky like it's blinking a little bit twinkling the moon looks lustrous and a little bit reflective which, which orb uh did we like we, like we had two orbs right no, we one orb. We have one orb. oh we had a fire gem or some that little that yeah. thing and and so I van, van real is holding the that. orb on that on the plate that he's on right Mm -hmm. Look, no, I thought I was. Carter has so it. Carter, Carter has it. I don't know. I don't know if you have backed him or not. No, Carter still has it. So I think. No, and when I was holding now. it earlier, it had a star inside of it, right? But now it's gone. Yeah. And there's no other symbol. If I like t carry it around to different symbols, does anything happen? Um, where are you, where are you going? I'm gonna go. I don't know. Like. Heal and then heal. Yeah, okay, when you get on, plates. like, can we? When you get on, yeah. So when you get onto this one, hon, you're, like, uh, you see a circle. Hey, hey something hey, happened. happened. This one. To this one, and I stand here and I like lift up the orb. All right. Somebody go stand on the stall with the orb. Okay. Wait. Uh, All right. Uh, what? Oh. Gilder's right. eyes. Glow green. So now, now what? Now what does the orb say? The orb says circle. I'm. I stand in a circle. Yeah. The orb still says circle. I, Can you I, take I the orb? Give the orb to yeah. to fill in. Can we take the orb to circle? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's just showing the symbol on the wall again. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Like, we'll give it to Thomas. And so, okay. can I wait? Can hang on, go? holding holding the orb before I give it to Thomas. Holding the orb, I look I look up at the night sky. Is there anything? Uh, you can see a constellation. What like, constellation? You think you see the con a couple of constellations that you recognize in the in the ceiling? Okay, none of them are standing out in any way. No, well, the is up there. It looks right. kind of like. Does Valian yeah. know Lilios? You guys have said that this is the Leo symbol. <laughs> did, did they say that out loud? I said that. I said that yes. out loud. Yeah. I said that out loud. Yeah. Okay. Or Lilio's constellation, I guess. Yes, it is a downward-facing uh, quarter moon. And so, like the fact that we're in a semicircle <laughs> isn't suspicious. All right, all right. I like point at this symbol right there. <laughs> Wait, that's not... all right. Uh. Thomas, when you take your spot, your eyes begin to glow, and you feel magically charged, just like everyone else. You have this sense of, like, everyone being in the right spot. What color are Thomas' designs? Uh, ice blue. I don't remember what color my eyes were. Does anything happen? I remember. Give him the orb! Give him the orb. <laughs> Alright. I give him the orb. What was the thing that she was saying? Was <laughs> it the thing that vaporized Let's, people? Yeah, so I'm gonna say it in regular, which is it said illuminate. When you nothing happens. <laughs> when you say it in common. Um scared right. to say it in celestial. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Same. <laughs> Ditto. We're either gonna make it through that door or we're all gonna get zapped. Let's go. Alright. I say it in Celestial. Alright. A beam of light shoots out of the door, striking Carter in the chest and arcing around the uh everyone on the plates. We're returning back to Carter where Ta -da. with a groan the door opens <laughs> and the light stays suspended in the air above the plate. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I ask for the orb back. Yeah, I'm getting the orb back. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants it. Hey, I'll, t I'll hold it. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Just be like, just kind of glance at Tom. And be like, well, you opened it. You want to be the first to see what's behind it? Not particularly, but let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, It'd be really funny if everybody was like, and then they went home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I, there's no way I'm going home. Like <laughs> behind the door, uh, like Vaughn, you see an endless starscape. Just looks like you're staring out into space. Okay. Is it like a talk? I like a talk. It's not. It's it yes. It's dark. It's like space, but there's you can. It's just. It's just space. It's space. It looks like space. Is there um, a floor? Is there a floor in space? I don't know. Step out and find out. Oh but God! I dropped my torch. It just sort of spins weightless. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. In, into the room. All right. I'm going uh, to. Who, who wants to go? I'm gonna. I, uh, I'll. I'll, 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 I'll uh, grab this rope. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Out into space. I was gonna say. Space I'm gonna. Bar. I'm gonna tie a rope around my waist and like tie it to like one of the pillars, like outside the door. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll wait, wait you, because if I need to pull somebody back, I'll probably be the one to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna. Yeah, and then I'm gonna kind of like. Let's go. I'm gonna grab. Out, yeah. I'm gonna grab onto the rope as well to help. Yeah, same. I'll help anchor the rope. When you cross <laughs> the threshold of the door, Farian, you okay. start floating out. And uh, what what hand is Varian's dominant hand? Right. Right hand? Yeah. A uh, silver star appears in your right hand, like above it, as like a light source. And okay. by looking at the star, you can roll which direction you're moving. Oh, that's nifty. I I'm, I just kind of like, like kind of like wave a little bit with like the light. And I'm like, I don't, I don't think you need the rope in here, guys. And mm -hmm. I... I will actually just 
detach it from myself. <laughs> just kind of float around the room, demonstrating. All right, fucking cowabunga. <laughs> I'll go retrieve my torch, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'm, the fire on your torch did go out when it fell into the room. Okay. Stay? Not still burning. I can, I can breathe in this room just to check, you know? Yeah, you can breathe just fine. <laughs> okay. Everything feels completely normal other than being in space. Okay. <laughs> Wee! But cool. I think cool. Cool. I'm, we can either end it here or we can like try and push through like the next section. I mean, you know I don't sleep, so I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> let's let's get how about we get to the next section and then just see what's there i think this is the next section my dude is it oh space the final section what <laughs> i'm good yeah I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> yeah well, if you guys want to go let's go we don't have to I would show like to show trepidation for, for for pursuing the campaign. Just fucking walk out. <laughs> I would like to see what is in this room in space. As Do I see anything? Would I? So as you're as you're floating around, you actually like start to see that you're like galaxy sized, and you can manipulate and move the stars and planets around you. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> with your with your with your dominant hands. And they all have stars over them that are the color of the eye glow that you had. Silver for Farian, green for Gilder, uh blue for Vaughn, uh like a dark blacky midnight blue for Benriel, and a dark gold for Carter. I'm just gonna start grabbing whatever stars are around me and make Simico's constellation. Okay, so as soon as you finish Sinekio's constellation, there's a bright white flash, and the party finds themselves standing in a courtyard where you can kind of murkily, as if through water, hear a man's voice uh, yelling something. And with another flash, you're back in space. Whoa. Whoa, that's Interesting. crazy. Um, All right. I see that, and I'm going to make... Uh, which, which one do I want to make? I want to do... Um, I guess I would do Azrael, which is the circle. The hexagon, please. Thank you. I mean, it's huh. a circ. It's supposed to be a circle, but you need infinite stars to make, a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is, Farron's gonna be working on this for a while. <laughs> I, it's, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the constellation. I'm not gonna make the. <laughs> All right, everyone, roll for initiative. Wait, what? <laughs> no. Are you serious? Why bother rolling? We're all gonna wind up in single goddamn digits. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. I just kind of uh, look at the party. I'm like, oop. Oh. <laughs> you guys all land on this side of the bridge. I'm gonna do that. Right. Speaking of single digit initiatives. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, you'll see it soon. Oh fuck. <laughs> He's not that big. He's not that big. And then like here, you're all directly in front us. of a yeti. Come no, back, back, get up, get away from the yeti. <laughs> this is the yeti right. spot. <laughs> directly in front of. I want to be a yeti. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm Wait. just like, uh, well, in my defense, when Carter did it, a yeti was <laughs> not there. <laughs> so really, who's to blame here? <laughs> You guys update your initiatives. Can you see your initiatives? No, you have nope. to re add us. Why doesn't roll 20 just like be smart? Where's Gilder? Where's the Gilder? I think. Uh, okay, there you go. Can you see those now? Yes. Wait, is it a Yeti or a Yeti? <laughs> Hey guys, I mean, check if you're not out. careful, he's gonna yeet you into the abyss. <laughs> so... Oh god. Hey guys, check out my really good initiative. Why did you think it was a good idea to make the symbol of the angel of death? Well, it also the angel of knowledge. <laughs> I'm it's a with that's a, a, that's a, a do it's a domain. Fun. Domain, yeah. Yeah, he's part of the knowledge. I don't domain. know. I just wanted to see what would happen. 
It didn't seem like anything um, terrible happened for you, so... On this side of the bridge, running away from the Yeti, is a woman dressed in uh, a black gown, like a ball gown. With very, very, very pale skin and long black hair that's loose around her shoulders. She appears to be carrying a child. What? You just like you just like dropped into the middle of this scene. I don't have a good token for this, so I'm gonna use this. <laughs> Hag. <laughs> and she's she's just running away. That spears her child, right? Yes. Van 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 rolled an eight. Carter rolled a ten. <laughs> This is so bad. I have rolled a 19. I have a plus three. <laughs> I have a I plus rolled... four. Oh, I rolled a two. On. Zero, please. <laughs> Fuck. No way. Gilder, it's your turn. Uh, well, I'm gonna move the fuck away from that, mother. <laughs> 30. Uh,. Uh, what, 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 do we want to we want to run towards this woman and maybe figure out what the hell's going on here? Away from the Yeti seems like a good idea. Away from the Yeti is a pretty good idea. What's that total? I'm just looking at this. Is... Well, Papa's gonna dash. <laughs> 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 Not a big fan of shit. Uh, okay, so the, hold on. So the woman, uh, in all seriousness, the woman is here. Yeah. Can I, can yeah. I yell for the woman? So it's Gilder's turn. Yeah, I'm gonna, but like, I mean, is, is, <laughs> ma'am, what is going on here? <laughs> uh, she doesn't pay any heed to you, and if you try and touch her, your hand goes through her. Hmm. Wow. Better shoot that damn Yeti! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> What's that? Farian. It's not my turn. <laughs> I have some Revelations guesses. must wait in a yeah. timely, turnly I, order. I have some guesses, but it's not my turn. Mm. I'm pretty sure this is going to go right through this bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> but I already said I was going to attack, so I can't take it back. <laughs> Fucking music. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter like anyway. The planet. What? Tag. I, yeah, that's not the right thing. <laughs> I just looked at it and was like, check. Check, please. Oh, that that can't way. edit it. Yeah, edit, don't work. <laughs> uh, you, can copy, you can copy paste that now, though. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can make like a sticky note that has all the commands you use on it frequently and just copy paste them out of it. Um, that hits, and the bolt sinks into the Yeti, which yets out a, lets out a guttural yell. Okay, that is not what I expected to happen. <laughs> Neither. Thomas, what is your action going to be? Wait, how did you dash back? and attack? He didn't dash. He didn't dash. He just, he just he just walked. Yeah, it was it was thirty to the woman. I was like, uh, and also like because my... if, even if even if it was, he could bonus I action have, and dash. Uh, yeah, I have uh, I have my ye old bonus. Don't you fancy? So that was move, and then I attacked, and now I'm going to oh I don't know. Sneaky sneak. <laughs> You're in the middle You're, of a There bridge. is nothing to hide behind. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, it's your turn. I just wanted to roll it. <laughs> I'm gonna get yeeted off this fucking bridge. Yeah, this is gonna be fucking terrible. I, I don't know if you're gonna get yeeted off the bridge. Mostly because you're always behind us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, you have to get through us to get to if you. If anyone's getting yeeted, it's me or Thomas. Um, oh. Vanrail, you've proven stout before, lad. Okay, I want to... Turn it to me. There's not a lot that I want to do. <laughs> that would help. Uh, okay, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna scoot back... There. And then... What's the range? Okay, we're gonna... Make this... Where I'm gonna use Molder. 
uh, it's a cantrip, and I'm gonna use make that square uh, difficult terrain. How okay. Does... Can I ask how help works, like as a bonus action? Because like the only thing it says is like you can aid an ally in attacking a creature. I don't know. I don't like. I can't. Which where is the terrain? You draw it in. The one below. Oh okay, yeah. Um. And what'd you say, uh, Gilder? I'm just curious how help works, like because it's kind. Of, it sounds like the kind of thing you help. use like out of turn, sort of. You know. The help action to aid an ally in attacking. Even though he's casting a spell, it's not an attack. Like, I was just looking for a little... How do you... I mean, like, if you and I wanted to work together to set up a tripwire attack, right. I would probably use the help action. It just gives them advantage on whatever they're trying to do. Any ability check they're trying to make. Okay. But like I said, I can just use it... Like, if I haven't used my bonus action in my turn, can I then use the help in that? You know what I mean? I'm just trying not to be out of order. Are you... Is that a... Which rogue are you? You're, you're a mastermind, right? Yes, I'm master of tactics. So you can use the help so can, action so as a bonus action. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. So yeah, that lasts until like the start of your next turn. Right. Okay. So I'm not going to use it yet because nobody's doing it uh, yet. Mm -hmm. Continue. Sorry. Well, you just say I'm trying to help Vanriel. If Vanriel had a plan to like push the Yeti or something. You know, tabletop this Yeti. <laughs> You'd be like, you could, you, you could just say, you know, I'm helping. I'm giving advice. Like, go for the knee, wax on, wax off, and he gets advantage on pushing the yeti. Okay, but he's casting a spell, so he's good. Yeah, so he's good. it was a spell, and it wasn't directly hitting him. I was mm -hmm. just making so, the area in front of him difficult terrain. Yeah, so you don't, you don't say, some, you don't wait for someone to like say, like, I'm gonna do this. You go, oh, I'm gonna help him. You just on your turn say, I'm helping this person if they so choose to do something that requires. A help thanks that's what i needed to know you just you're just you're in character you were giving them timely advice okay <laughs> carter it's your turn so okay he, so he i said i have my spiel out uh-huh so i'm going to stab him uh -huh. as one does okay oh it does not hit and I'm going to back the fuck up. Yeah, he's going to attack you. Yep. <laughs> okay. Vanriel, okay. here go. He oh, you said he was going to attack. I totally forgot to attack. Yeah, he <laughs> 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 so wait. I have no advantage to anything, right? For pushing or whatever, right? That was just a what-if scenario. No. That was a what if scenario, correct? God, Aaron does not think the bridge is the right place to be. <laughs> All right. I mean, so, probably not, but next uh, to the Yeti is also questionable. Oh, uh, yeah, you do say, I have a plan to say that? that. However, <laughs> into the difficult terrain box. Into the difficult terrain box. <laughs> I was trying to remember what that was. Uh, we'll go yeah, here. Yeah, into difficult terrain. I'll show you difficult. Okay. All right. Do I have anything more useful than just stabby stabs? I don't think so. Does that seem pretty useful? Does it though? Yes. Mm. All right. Well, we're gonna hit him with the vibe check sword. <laughs> well, I think it's um my channel. Vibe check. Yeah, my channel's already gone, so it's just a regular. Fuck. sword. Oh uh, yeah. It's like a minute. We'll attack with the moon sword. Uh oh. Alright, it also does not hit the Yeti. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Arian. Uh, hey! The illusions are back. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is. Being cast from the uh, asking for a friend. What happens to the illusions if you become paralyzed? Um, I think they stay. It's not concentration. So let me. Yeah. Just reading. I think it just stays there. I, I think oh. I believe so too. Yeah, since it's not a concentration spell. <laughs> asking for a friend. What if you get paralyzed? <laughs> I really <laughs> don't like. Really don't like that anymore. <laughs> um. 
fucking it says, until, <laughs> until the spell ends, they move with me and mimic my actions. So if I get, like, paralyzed, I guess they just... They play dead, too. Paralyzed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's my action. Um, and I need to remove that from the Ring of Spell storing because that's where that came from. Um, full action, I think, right? I mean, like, the gem of minor spell story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... I think that's an action, right? Casting the spell? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, do I have any good bonus actions? I really don't. Oh, I don't really want to be on the bridge. I feel like that's... Baron feels like that's a bad idea. And so she's going to not do that. Over there. This might be a really bad idea, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who, knows? Who knows? Yeah, Farron, can you make a Constitution saving throw? I could certainly try. Ooh, that's a seven. All right, uh, you are <laughs> paralyzed, and you take ten cold damage. All cool. right, not great. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Uh, and then, Henry, I'll go ahead and make an attack opportunity against the Yeti. Uh oh, he's gonna go have a conversation with Farion. Yeah, Ooh, don't like that for some reason. Uh, well, I don't want to get. I mean, I guess I could get yeeted here too. So yeah, let's say. Um, so does this attack Moon Sword again, or what? I forget. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, that hits. You slash the Yeti across the back, across its back, and you see like a strip of fur fall on the ground in front of you as it lumbers over to Farian and is going to attempt to hit. Okay. You need to roll for your I images. Right? <laughs> 20 on the images. Alright. Uh, it kills one of them. All right. Roll again. <laughs> okay. Hang on. What is, the, what is the image check I need to make now? 8. I think it goes up by 2. Yeah, hang on. With 2 duplicates, you must roll 8 or higher. Okay. 11. Alright. Alright. Uh, that image is also... Heckin' obliterated. All right, there's <laughs> there's one more duplicate. <laughs> Gilder, it's your go. You can repeat the saving throw on the end of your turn, Arian. Oh, at the end of my turn? Oh, but it's not my turn yet, so. Well, Papa's gonna back up, because uh, I feel like anywhere near that goddamn thing. Can I ask what's over on on this side of the bridge? Uh, a uh, black void. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. ominous at all. I mean, is it a black void with stars? No. Hmm. It makes a comforting whooshing noise. Well, who doesn't like a good whoosh? I love getting whooshed. I, re I will, by the way, fucking pin this attack somewhere because, good lord, there's a lot of things going on in it. <laughs> Wait, we have Mary? I don't think Barry counts. Just, yeah, all cares that there's an ally nearby. Really? Yeah, I, really damn, I count, okay. I guess. I mean, it's not. I guess it's, I'm like, it's attacking me. I'm like 80% yeah. sure that... Yeah, it's, it's attacking me. It doesn't have to be an able-bodied ally. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think that hit, Chief. Mm, that ain't it. <laughs> yeah, that ain't it. <laughs> oh, you were not hidden. Right. All right, Thomas, it is your go. Gilder, what are you doing with your bonus action? Uh, I am going to, uh, I'm going to, to help uh, Carter, who has uh, seemed to, uh, I don't know, maybe lost the plot here with this boa. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to use my, my help action uh, to aid Carter. Tell her to do what? Like, do you, Gilder, have a suggestion? A couple words of advice. Uh, I'm checking. Hold on a second. I'm going to look at this thing, and I just want to read the tooltip. Does the hook spear work on creatures of any size? I think it specified, did it? Not in, not in the tooltip that Fowl gave me. But then that's, yeah, it. it works on creatures of any size, then? I this might sound ridiculous, but, but my, my thought was to help Carter grapple the Yeti. Although I just don't know what that means right now. You, you, you can use How does grappling walk? 
If you're able to make multiple attacks, as you grab the most vision, seize the target. Oh! Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. You want Carter to go wrestle the Yeti? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you inspiration for that. <laughs> Re- I, yes, grapple the Yeti, and I'm helping you. How big is the Yeti? It's large, so it's one size <laughs> larger. You got than a that. hooky spear? Get in there! <laughs> a hooky spear is twipping it. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> I was planning on trying to uh, shove it on my turn, but it's not my turn yet. Fuck it. I'll go grapple it. <laughs> okay. Wait, make a special skip. attack roll. So but what is... Oh, oh, wait. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. Make a, make a um, yeah. athletics Wasn't check. Thomas tipped? tipped? Was you? Oh, yeah. you were. My bad. Sorry. We were really excited about this grappling. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're trying. Oh God, go like, God, why? Like, <laughs> I feel like as a group, we're trying to we're trying to just just hold this fucking yeti down and stop it from bashing the crap out of fairy. I have one duplicate. I'm trying to That's slap fine. condition. Fine. Fucking, I'm gonna I'm gonna fine. slip him. And this yeti. I'm gonna hit him with a flip. You're gonna you're gonna thorn with him. Yes. Are you pulling him towards uh, us? It does hit. Yep. Oh, okay. Doing six damage, and I am pulling him. Uh, this way. Hey. Please. Precarious on the edge. Okay. And then I'm gonna scoot back to there. <laughs> Carter, it's your turn now. Now I'm gonna one up and grab the Yeti. This yeah. Yeti. Are we not gonna just spart it off of the <laughs> Oh I'm not here. I can't speak. I can't do anything. Well no, uh when when you move you can drag or carry the grapple creature with you, but your speed is halved. Unless the creature is too so I just thought if we grapple it, then we just fucking throw him off. <laughs> make your make your strength. <laughs> Is it strength specific? It's a, athletics. Maybe good at this. I don't know. I thought it'd be a funny thing to do. Bum, oh, bum, no. bum. oh! Nope, nope. Wait, so, I have advantage because I'm being helped. Nope. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's better. <laughs> you grapple the Yeti in a oh, arm bar using your spear. And now we've got Vanriel who could just run up and fucking bash it. <laughs> Come on. Vanriel, it's your turn. You see I'm gonna that? I'm gonna go over here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if we know anything about and <laughs> Vanriel, he runs directly. We, we all know I'm running I'm running at this thing with my shield Even up. Even though he knows it's a bad idea. With my shield <laughs> up and right. I'm charging directly into the stupid Yeti. You're gonna you're gonna try and push it? Yep. Okay. okay. Um do it with advantage. What is the actual role though? Athletics. Athletics. Yeah, I just have to check athletics. Come on, big boy. <laughs> That's pretty uh, good. Advantage. Oh boy. Yeah, the Yeti fails. <laughs> <laughs> and you bash it, and it staggers backwards and falls into the abyss. You goddamn right, right it does. How many, of make a make a constitution how, many, how many turns do you think it's going to take for me to make this fucking save? <laughs> oh, just kidding, it's an 18. <laughs> oh, fine, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Gyodo. The woman keeps running, and with a flash, you're back in the void. Can get us through these dark times. Alright, lesson learned. We will not make the symbol of the Angel of Death anymore. (laughs) Just in case, I am just gonna, like, slam a health potion real quick. (laughs) Just gonna be like, yeah. Basically, like, Fairy is, like, saying that, like, Ash is, like, drinking a health potion. Like, yeah, okay, alright, fine. You win. <laughs> Maybe the angel of death wasn't the best choice. No, Which one's the it angel really of wasn't. death? Asriel. 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 Just Asriel. Asriel. Okay, okay. Is anyone else? Uh, can anyone you else can also hear like symbol? echoes of voices bouncing around in space around you. You recognize a woman's voice. Something that smells like children laughing and a man. So, I think. Vanriel, after seeing what happened with what with the uh, 
one constellation is gonna do Zad kills constellation. Zad kills okay. Zad. With its life, right? Uh, yeah. That's forgiveness. But forgiveness. Uh, with a flash, that's it. You see yourself um, standing in what appears to be a nursery as a woman stands over three cribs that all have healthy, beautiful boys in them. With the flash, you were back in space. Was it the same woman as before? Yes, always the same woman. The, the one that she was running from the Yeti earlier, right? With the baby? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bum, 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 bum. What is this, by the way? Holes. This is Holes, the planets. Planets, dude. <laughs> this is specifically Jupiter. Yeah, um, I know Jupiter. It's like the only one I know. And Mars. You don't know Mars? I know Mars. Uh, <laughs> Probably also know Saturn. But... What's say... up, Thomas? Uh, should we go to Sahakio? Isn't that the... um? But that would be one? the cult. Yes, that would be yep, the cult. Sure is. <laughs> I would say. That sounds safe. Let's do it. Really? I was gonna say this should be the last one we go to. <laughs> yeah. What about Lilio? Because I feel like that's definitely something interesting. I feel like that's that also a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> that's. I'm not in favor of that. After. I think we made the worst <laughs> possible choice, and we found it yet. What could be worse? I mean. I'm gonna guess Lilio or Sahaki. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, we're, we're not going to fucking Hazmat. I know, really. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You win. Uh, fuck, I need to... Oh, yeah, no, maybe don't do that one. Consult oh, wait, <laughs> what about, what's the Winner, what? What do you need to do? Uh, consult we, uh, together, right? is the a angel of snow. We were just there. <laughs> no. <laughs> well... I'm joking, calm down. I don't understand jokes. Yeah, it's because you're no fun. <laughs> I mean, that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> Are we could try shilling. Maybe we'll get more story <laughs> of this of this big boy. Shilagio? Shilagio. Shilagio. The Shelly. Shelly. Shelly right. chick. What, what um, symbol? Oh, okay, yeah. So I'm just going to go down the what list symbol? that I have. I don't think... What, this okay. is... Right. Um, I'm trying to write notes. For you're, you're transported to a... Alpine forest. In which you see a horse-drawn carriage made of black lacquered wood and silver trim dashing down the lane uh, in front of you. And behind you on the other side, you see like a 150 foot tall raging inferno moving across the land. Hey, uh, change my mind. Oh. I don't like that. Go back. Go back. Go <laughs> yeah. back. Go back. <laughs> Un unsubscribe. I like to. <laughs> how do we? How, do how we are you guys that? gonna survive the inferno? Oh. Okay. Whose idea was this to put? put this? <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Is it the the? How deep how is the ground? The snow thing. Um. About five feet. Hey, what, just, what 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 door to led dig. to the three cribs, by the way? Zed kill. Zed kill. Where is my yield old giant ring of fire? There's my giant ring of fire. Don't like it. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it is just slowly moving towards the party. Mm -hmm. Arian will stand for all of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you brought How us are we? I did not. Do? This was not my door. <laughs> this is my door, in all fairness. Oh, what are you gonna do about it, man? I'm trying to catalog all the fucking doors. Yeah. I oh, can't. We're, we're just taking. Can't a... really like shield fire. <laughs> uh, I looked. Neither can I. As a surprise. Does as this that count is. as a mountain? Am I extra <laughs> adept at surviving here? <laughs> yeah, you are on a mountain. You get any actual bonuses for that? How oh. adept for surviving here? <laughs> <laughs> Surviving is a strong check. word. <laughs> <laughs> My proficiency double, double is bonus for proficient skills when you make an injury with check related to it. So I'm thinking like 
I want to know if... Make a survival check and I'll tell you what you know. <laughs> okay. Fail. And that's an extra plus two because my proficiency is bonus. Double oh, okay. 17. Alright, all you've got is like maybe hide behind a tree. Really? <laughs> can, oh, can I, I mean, also make a survival check? Maybe it's a really like, good I'm tree. specifically wondering like if I dug a hole behind a tree. That would probably increase your odds of survival, yeah. So I'm hey, gonna wait, go don't move a thing. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go behind a tree and don't fucking dig it. I'm gonna Every time someone makes Carter. a check, the fire's moving. Yeah, I'm gonna go help Carter with that. Oh, these like rocks? You can dig. This, Do you have this, a shovel? Mm -mm. This when you dig. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm gonna help in. Yeah, do I have a shovel? Uh, use Molder. Negative ghost right there. And oh, I can okay. excavate a hunk. Yeah, you can. Uh, can I use my shield to help dig? Yeah. yeah. I have a mule. What is this? I don't think that's gonna help. There's a ring of fire coming and we're all just digging into the ground. You know. <laughs> yeah, homie, do you have a plan? <laughs> yeah, you, you have a better idea? Hey, accept, so... accept it, because I don't think he's gonna kill us with this. <laughs> what is does it actually does it look like I could just like dive through it real quick? Hmm. Is you wanna this... try? Well, okay. Well, is is it does <laughs> it look like a ring like is like it is on the map? Yeah. Yeah. So oh. wait, could we run around it's like, it? It's like a fire tornado. Can we just run around it? Like, oh, go... no, well, I don't want to... No, 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 okay. Can we just then go I'm down here, then? Fifty foot. Can we, can we outrun it? This looks like it? a path to it me. covers the whole thing. No, but it looks like a path to me. Like, just... <laughs> yeah, I'm getting bigger. Or just keep going this way until the ring... <laughs> no, I'm just going to help Carter with the bunker, dude. That's, like, my well, best plan. We're bunkering down, homie. It's over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, like, dig <laughs> past the <laughs> snow and, like, try and get into the earth. Okay. 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 I don't have anything to help you with. I'm gonna find like rocks or something. Gilder, do you have anything in, in general you want? Do you want to also hop into the bunker? No, or... he, wants, he wants to jump through the ring because he thinks it doesn't sound <laughs> he, real. Evasion. I do actually. <laughs> I told you. Okay. Are, Are you, you sure? sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't have anything in this list of inventory for giant ring of fire. <laughs> I, can I would assume to... not many people do. Right. I can give myself to resistance to bio damage. Well. That's nice. But I'm still going with the digging plan. All right, we're all digging a fucking hole. <laughs> um, all right. Thomas, do you know any spells that could make like? Do we anybody have a wind spell? Something. A wall, wall of stone, stone perhaps. perhaps. <laughs> Best I got he's is mold earth. Yeah, he's been using mold earth this whole time. Yeah. Chugging five so, yeah. foot. You do manage to build. You manage squares. to make the bunker, and the fire tornado passes overhead. What fucky angel was this one, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Angel yeah. of Snow. It was Seligio, yeah. Seligio, That doesn't yeah. seem like snow, if I'm being honest here. Okay. There was um, snow around the fire. I mean, there was a lot of fire. Get us into another death trap. I'm gonna do materials. Do it. Alright. Um, you're transported to another scene. Same woman. Sitting... Uh, alone in a massive library as it pours outside you can hear the rain just thundering on the roof uh, and crying to herself in the library before you're snapped back to space no I wanted to know what the book titles <laughs> um, I'm gonna do Simiko again but all in my all in cold stars and see if it changes anything what What was the first Simiko? Um yelling man yeah. right same scene Okay. Repeating a scene does not get you anything new. It was with all the same color <laughs> skull. I know. <laughs> what about another Yeti? <laughs> nope. Let's, uh, let's not. So are we I... done, Estebus? No. We no are, we just, are we just ripping whatever constellation everybody has? Yeah. yeah have you not figured I this out? <laughs> there's choices. But I think the only thing we're trying to we're... Yeah. So we're yeah. trying to see what the rest do, obviously. Because okay. there's a there's a story being told, kind of, right? Yeah, woman gets like, born. Well, <laughs> so... Woman has babies. Runs away from fire. Runs away from yeti. Didn't the last? So we're in a shred of Lilio. The last line said something about the child, Lilio's children. 
sons. Yes. Re re really, really quickly, if you're procking some angel, because I can't keep up with the notes, can you just like type it in the party chat so we can just save like what these things are? We're just like I said, we're just ripping through things, and I can't, I can't keep up with notes. I mean, if it, if you guys think it's important to remember what these things are, so I'm tracking it mostly. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with this. If we're gonna rip every <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you guys to, but I guess I should have expected you guys. I to. mean, <laughs> at eleven o'clock, I'm ripping Zahakil, and you can't stop me. <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. It was Simico, Asriel, um, was it Zadkiel, then Chile? Chile, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Material, and then we were gonna do Estibus or whatever. I was just asking if we, I mean, do we want to yeah. do all of them? You could do whatever you want, because I clearly dumped this on Yeti Bridge <laughs> without really asking, so. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I've already done a couple, though. I'm not you trying can, to be greedy, but I do have, like, lots of. <laughs> Constellations. The only here. one that I know that we haven't done is Zahakiel. Yeah, like, we've done everything yeah, that I know except for Hosmed, so, which seems like a really bad idea. So we did so, Asriel. Yeah, so I have I have Estibus, I have Hazmid, which we don't want to do. Estibus was my last one, and then it's Zahakiel or Lelio. Lelio. For me. Up to you. What does the party want to do? You, you want to try? Yeah. Mr. Constellation Bobo, or uh, Gilder. Yes. Do you have any constellations you want to try? Um. Hmm. Oh, okay, music. How about Israfel? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll just I did not mean to passive aggressively turn the music up. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> okay. Um, putting Israfel together with a crash of cymbals and trumpets, you're transported to a different nursery for a moment, which a smiling, proud woman, haggard after childbirth, looks down at a bundle of three daughters. Oh, oh, and there's a man that you do not recognize in the room. Oh. Can we talk to him? And then you snap back to space. Never mind. I have predictions and I don't know. So like it was them. the same same woman? Same oh. woman, different guy. And new children? Okay. Yeah, and you got kind of like a familial vibe from the guy. Hmm. This woman not like he was her lover or anything oh oh okay hang on a second thomas i have it in my notes that you didn't tell anyone yes. what the celestial rune said is that true the one that read down with the three daughters <laughs> that one yeah, I, I did was, you tell I, us about that I, the I have down with the daughters written down. I was also gonna ask if this if this woman I looks think... like the one that I saw through the scrying <laughs> spyglass. No, she is far, far, far more beautiful. Wow, rude. I think we yeah. know who that That's is. Okay. Then I think uh, might be the one. Yeah. Yeah. Did we make her symbol. Yeah, probably hers. All right. Hit it. I don't fucking know it. What, Pull the lever. <laughs> don't <Don't worry. laughs> We saw it in the previous room. Yeah, What's... you're right. <laughs> we made the symbol to get in the door. <laughs> oh, a little ale? Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. All right. Um, as you form the symbol of the Lael Farian, a second light arcs between the five of you and forms Sahakiel's symbol, and a dark door and a golden door appear in the space ahead of you. Which door do you guys want to go through? Oh, no. I was on the stall, and I think the stall is Sahakiel, and I was gold. I was gold. But, yeah, and then I was on the moon, and 
The dark. Oh, Star I had dark is not a hot heel. Well, hot I was, I was on head. weird. Hot heel is a cloud. cloud. Yeah, but I was on the moon, and my eyes were dark. I vote so. Same. I'm assuming dark is little eel. Mm. So the question becomes: Are we chasing the cultists, perhaps, or are we further investigating the orb? What is the orb doing right now? I take it out of my pocket. Uh, it is dragging you towards the dark door. Oh boy. Out. Oh boy. I put it back in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like, well, the orb wants to go to the dark door, and the orb is an artifact of Lelil. But I guess that makes sense. So if we want to find Lelil, maybe. Or find out more about this orb. It, it seems like we have a bit of a choice here. Do we chase our quarry? Or what? Continue the investigation. Technically, we won't send here to kill cultists. We were sent here to do archaeology. It's very important to Carter. <laughs> I think we're uh, pretty far <laughs> past archaeology at this point. <laughs> All right, so you well, don't even have a shovel. What yeah. kind of archaeologist are you? <laughs> I'm well, Indiana Jones. I got a whip. Well, we both have a whip. <laughs> while this conversation is happening, Vanriel is just going to have his curiosity too much for the religion. And he's gonna go through the door, the dark door. Oh. Ooh. All right. Okay. Uh, when Vanuel crosses the door, everyone else is sucked in. You're welcome. And you find yourselves. Uh, oh, find yourselves in the nursery, the second nursery you had seen with the daughters, and a haggard woman sits in a chair by a, by the window and turns to look at you. That is going to be... Yeah, that's the... <laughs> Bunker! <laughs> she, could, she could see us. <laughs> well. Hey, you might want to copy those, the order of that into the, the party chat, not the roll chat, so it doesn't get buried. Uh, okay. <laughs> So it was. Simikil. I didn't have the order. That, that's not the order. Azrael, Dad Kill, the Lego. Turn that down! <laughs> no! Exactly. Mario is Raphael, Lilial is what I have. Yeah, that literally. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lilial with uh, Dark Door. I mean, you don't know if it's Lily. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can guess, but I don't know. <laughs> right? Dude, I don't know shit about angels, apparently. I mean, do any of us? Except for me, apparently. Allegedly. Come on, dude, you're a fucking paladin. Yeah, no. <laughs> you're supposed to. I'm supposed don't give to. me that shit. <laughs> I really, I really want to go, want to go find, find Aaron, Aaron when we get back. The orb, if we, if we get back. Yeah, you know, I think, I feel like following the orb is way more interesting than going after the cultists. Well, also, well, but so, I also wasn't, was, did not know you all would be sucked in after me, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, I feel like Lulu had three sons, three, three sons and three daughters, but like because of the dating, dating thing with, with, um. The dating thing? What do you mean? I don't know this. <laughs> yeah. I told you. Did, did you? Told you well. So oh, what I found out from the book was the angel of the moon and the angel of the sun may oh, have had right. a flame. Oh, right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Right. And so if we're thinking that that angel of the sky, sun, it there's not like a strict angel of the sun. So either they're gone or like I'm like thinking it might be Sakio. And so if they had a fling and had three... Sorry, let me interrupt. Uh, the the cultist symbols weren't they? The cloud with the sun rising behind it. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that so. Immediately, also. I mean, clearly we are in a conflict of the golds. So, like, th there could be a sons versus daughters war thing going here. Mm. 
especially if the sons take more after their father and the daughters take more after True. their mother. Yeah. That's just Bumble's conspiracy theory. Well, tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs> Good night. Uh. Yeah. My character is not the most wise character. <laughs> Which checks out. It's negative. <laughs> um, what, what was your theory, Fal? Oh, just, I mean, the, I'm just assuming that, like, it, that the scenes we saw were kind of the story of the, the whole breakup, but out of sequence, and I don't know what the sequence is, so. <laughs> well, I guess that fire tornado comes after daughters, probably. Maybe, who knows? I don't really know what was up with <laughs> Yeah, the fights didn't Good. seem. Well, there's yeah. the Yeti, but she only had one per one baby. Only had one, yeah. What kind of baby it was? What flavor of baby it was? What flavor? Don't, <laughs> you're, dude. Are you a bear gonna eat the baby? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm a, Does okay. the baby look delicious? That's all I want to know. Uh, you did not see what gender the baby was. Okay. Baby. Yeah. I didn't see much of anything in that fight, really. Like I. Just kind of you saw anything I knocked the fuck out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got my duplicates off and then I got knocked the fuck out. Listen, if I didn't have the duplicates, I think I would have just gotten wrecked because yeah. they're auto crits if you're paralyzed. So. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Bad news bears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you failed that con save hard. I did. It was probably what, like 11, 12, 13? I rolled like an 8. <laughs> Wait, do you roll? Does Yeti does the Yeti roll for the? What? No, no, but you rolled like I rolled. No, I rolled garbage on that. I'm safe. I mean, her constitution is only plus one, dude. Like, <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end the stream. Yeah.